Yep, yep. All right. We are back after feels like forever because, you know, we didn't record on Friday. We're back. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast, episode 220. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with my boys. C2, back again. Yeah. What's good? It's E-Man. You know what it is. What's good? What's good? Yo, thank y'all for checking out another episode. Our numbers have been fantastic. Thanks to you guys. Um, Everything has been going super, super awesome. Thank y'all. Check out the Discord if you're not already in it. We've been vibing in there. Talk about anime. It's basically one big group chat for all of our listeners. Super fun. And also subscribe to the Patreon. We have been lacking. On the Patreon for a very long time. But we back now. We just recorded an episode before this. And I promised y'all that we are going to be more consistent with uploading once a week. Now, I'm not saying we're going to upload every single... Like, some bearing unforeseen circumstances yeah. we will be uploading every week. Minimum. We might hit, hit y'all with two or three a week. I don't know. I've been going crazy on my personal YouTube. So, hey, I've been shooting multiple videos a week over there. I've been killing it. I just dropped, I dropped two videos already this week. I got two more videos in the tuck and I got three more videos in the mental. So it's really over for y'all. That's what's up. Yeah. Nah, I've, I've been, your bag. Nah, I've been going extra crazy recently since I uh, went to Momocon, man. Listeners. So the reason I said it uh, has been a while since we recorded is because we didn't record this Friday because I was in Atlanta for Momocon. And when I tell y'all that was one of the best experiences I have had ever. (laughs) Like, bruh, it was crazy. Like, MomoCon last year, didn't nobody know me. Like, that, nobody knew me in that mug. Understandable. I think I had, like, 15, 20,000 followers on TikTok. The pod had, what, a little over 1,000, something like that. Now we we lit in this bitch. I, it was turnt, bro. It was really cool. Meeting podcast listeners and TikTok viewers and content creators, it really taught me, it really gave me a lot of perspective that I didn't have, right? Like, I said this in my YouTube video that I made, but I've been making content since 2019, right? And since 2019, I've been trying to break into the content game. I have been the underdog trying to become one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to trying to be one of them. When you get to a space where you can meet other listeners and content creators, and they're looking at you like, no, you're one of them. It's like, oh, shit. Like, I'm meeting creators that, like, I look up to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I model some of my content after, uh, you know what I'm saying? I check out their shit. I be peeping their stuff. And when I meet them and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get my shit like you. And they like, no, I'm trying to get my shit like you. Like, you don't like, I don't have what you have. I don't do what you do. And it's like, yo, what the fuck going on here? One moment that was actually kind of crazy. And y'all know Blizzy is my nigga, right? Like, that's my dude. Shout out Blizzy boy. He's a rapper. He cool as shit. So I, this was before the con even started. So this was on Wednesday. We were setting up for D Spirits and Blizzy pulled up. And I was like, damn, nigga, you killing that shit on TikTok, bro. Like, you murdering that shit. He was like, nigga, you murdering that shit. And I'm like, nigga, I am not on your level. You got 600,000. Yo, lies be going crazy. Like, I'm telling you, bro, you murdering that shit. I'm trying to get like you. And no, in this moment, I'm talking to him. A nigga walked by. He said, hey, I know you. I, I fuck with your TikToks. I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Like, what's good, bro? I was like, oh, damn. Like, niggas is actually like out here bro he was like nigga look like you <laughs> you got the people and i'm like oh shit bro so it was just i don't know bro it was a cool last experience like i introduced myself to uh one content creator he's a super big content creator i fuck with him um the sacred text says tony weaver oh yeah i was on a panel with him a little bit ago yeah uh it was an online anime panel but like in my mind, I was like, "Oh, this nigga probably don't remember nothing like that." So I walked up to him. I was like, about to sit, like introduce myself. He was like, "Oh, Malcolm, like from the podcast. What's up? Blah blah blah. I'm gonna come talk to you. Come on the podcast." I was like, "What's up?" I was like, "Oh shit, like, this this nigga actually knows me." Like, yeah, he was dope. like, "Yo, I've been watching the Ben Ten content. Like, it's been going up." I was like, "Oh shit, this nigga Tony Weaver like actually watches my shit." Like, it wasn't like because you know some people be like, "Oh, like I know your face. I kind of know you." He was like. 
no, the Ben 10 content has been going up. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. That's this, dope. This nigga knows for real. I don't know, bro. That was actually just like a crazy experience. I can't lie. Momocon was a crazy experience. And that shit got me lit for DreamCon, bro. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for it. Because DreamCon, that's literally our target demographic. You know what I'm saying? Like, Momocon is anime viewers. DreamCon is literally like that like mixture between like anime, pop culture, hip hop, we're black guys, like literally everything <laughs> links up. It's like where we need to be. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. One thing I did learn from Momocon is that uh I gotta come out of my shell and just pop out more. Like, y'all niggas know me. I don't be outside, bro. I don't I don't <laughs> do none of that shit, bro. I kick it with the gang and that's it. Yeah. Multiple times at Momocon, Dom was like, hey, bro, like, yo, I'm hitting this content house. Like, yo, I'm, I'm going to this content house afterwards. Um, shout out to Tokyo. Uh, he's another content creator. He was like, yo, I got this content house. Like, you should pop out afterwards, blah, blah, blah. Like, I know you're probably tired from the D Spirit shit. I was like, I don't know. Like, I'll see. Like, you know, I'll try to pop out maybe. I didn't go. Yeah, niggas know. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I was saying that, but in my mind, I was like, I'm not going, I'm not going I'm to like, this shit. Fuck that shit. It was all the creators in that bitch, bro. Like, all the creators was in that motherfucker, and I was not there. And then the next day, there was an after party at the Trap Sushi shit. Dom was like, hey, bro, like, come pop out. Like, it's going to be cool. Like, shit going to be lit. I was like, ah, right, you know, like, I might I might slide. I ain't go to that shit, nigga. Like, I'm with the guys. But I should have. Like, I should have gone to those things because those are, like, networking opportunities to where I could have actually went and, like, did shit. Dom had pictures with, like, other creators and shit like that. Dom got all the hookups. Nigga could have pointed me in the right direction. Yeah. So I got to – that's one thing I got to get better at is uh getting out of my comfort zone and popping out because, nigga, I do not be popping out. That's not my vibe. Yeah, true facts. I'm going to just low-key guy. If you catch me at the con, you'll catch me at the con. If you catch me anywhere else, you might accidentally catch me at the restaurant or <laughs> you might accidentally catch me. One of the niggas who was at the Deez Bear booth caught us at the Intercontinental Breakfast at the hotel. <laughs> but, like, I don't be out for real. First off, the Intercontinental Breakfast was terrible. Damn. Garbage, bro. Damn. We that had sucks. Waffle House day one. Oh, well, yeah, it's not going to be good after that. We had Waffle House day two. Oh, yeah, y'all tweaked out. Day three, Noah's like, hey, I'm going to try to save some money. Let's hit the, I'm going to just hit the breakfast downstairs. We're like, all right, let's That's valid, though. That shit was ass. Yeah, it's not going to be good after Waffle House, but good sad. idea. Yeah, you should have probably started off with the yeah. free breakfast. <laughs> and yeah, then terrible, finished off bro. with, like, Waffle House. And then the third day, we tried to hit Waffle House, but it was packed in that bitch. So we had to go to Chick-fil-A. And, like, Chick-fil-A, I like, they have good breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a Chick-fil-A lunch type of guy. Of course, yeah. yeah. Like, the breakfast is just not big enough. Like, first off, you don't you don't get enough. It's literally just chicken on the little biscuit with a drink. Yeah, that don't Like, four like of them little mini hash hungry. browns. Like, I was still hungry as hell. Yeah, I've never had breakfast over there, but it don't seem lit. Yeah, and our plane on the way back, we were supposed to leave at 10.30. We did not get on that plane until 2.45 in the morning. That shit was ridiculous, Damn. bro. What, if, what could even happen? So we didn't, luckily, we didn't go to the airport when they started texting us that our shit was getting delayed. So we didn't get to the airport till probably like 1, 1 a.m. type shit. Yeah. So we didn't have to wait in that whole line or whatever. But then we were in the line, not in the line, but we were sitting like waiting for the plane. And then they could get on the intercom and he like, this flight is overbooked. I'm going to need 10 people to get upgraded to extra leg room seats uh, or else this plane is not flying. Right. So they all go up to the thing. Those are the words that nigga said. Right. Yeah. So I turned to Noah and I'm like, if we got 10 extra people on the plane moving there's only six of the extra legroom seats on the plane, right? Yeah. And even if that's the case, you're just moving them from a different seat on the same plane. Because those are the words that the nigga said, right? Yeah. I'm like, I don't understand how this is going to work. Turns out, he was actually moving them to an extra legroom seat on a different flight to Chicago at 1030 on the next day with two connections. Oh, no, <laughs> that's evil. Which is fucking crazy, bro, right? Yeah. So that shit happens, right? We're still sitting and waiting. This nigga, oh, my God, I hate this nigga. If I, 
Oh my, if I ever see this nigga in the street, I'm killing him. Okay, that was extreme. I'm <laughs> beating the shit out of him. This nigga get on the little intercom and go, yo, the plane is about to time out. We have 45 minutes to get everybody on this plane or else the plane is not flying. So y'all better get in a single file line and get on this plane fast. Everybody jump up, get in line. We stand in there trying to get in that bitch. We stood there for 20 minutes. The nigga didn't say another thing. Nigga didn't move nobody. Just burned through 20 of the minutes, right? Just didn't do shit. I'm like, damn. So remember the nigga said the shit was overbooked. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me go look at my booking confirmation, right? Go ahead. Look at all this shit. Malcolm Crawford, 20B. Noah Smith, 20C. Caleb Smith, 20D. Nicholas Bach, to be determined. I'm like, <laughs> to be determined? Like, this nigga had a seat. I'm like, wait, Nick is like, no, no, no. Like, look, because he took a screenshot of it earlier in the morning. Yeah. That nigga had a seat. They just took his seat away, right? Niggas just didn't have no seat no more. So they get on the intercom, and they're like, yo, can these people please come up to the front? Mary, Lewis, George, went through a good 10 people. Last nigga they call, Nicholas Bach. We all like, fuck, bro. This shit over with. <laughs> like, this clip. It's a clip, bro. Nigga called him up to the front. So we all go up to the front because one of us go, we all going to go. Grant you, niggas are still standing in line because we still are. The plane is going to time out. So we still got less than we probably got 25 minutes now. Another five minutes. He called everybody to the front. Didn't even look at him. Didn't say a single word to them. They just stood there. We sitting there like this. I'm I'm in my mind. I'm like, yeah, we're not getting on this plane. Like, this shit is cooked. This nigga is doing the most, bro. So <laughs> finally, he gives Nick a new C. He moves him up to like. He moves them up further on the plane or whatever. Everybody ends up getting on the plane. <laughs> we talked to Nick later. Nick said while they were standing up in the front, he said he felt terrible for the man who was causing all the chaos on the fucking intercom because there were like four ladies there. It was just cooking them. Nick, like <laughs> with the nigga right there. I'm talking like as close as you and me are. Yeah. It was just cooking them. They're just standing there like, I bet he got bullied in high school. He's, this guy's a loser. He doesn't do nothing with his life. Look at him calling out on the intercom. What a loser. I hate him. But like, literally with the nigga standing right, right there. Kind of the and bro's just on his computer trying to get shit together while they just cooking him. Like, oh, he looks so stupid. He's ugly. He, I, I bet he doesn't get no girls. Yeah, that's like, kind of wild. Like, grown women just cooking this nigga. And he just got to deal with it. But finally, we all ended up getting on the plane. Thank God. Um... And we flew back to Chicago. Shit was, it was a terrible flight. I hated that shit. But, uh, we got home at like fucking four in the morning. They hit that nigga with the no bitches. No, they cooked that nigga. He said they just sat there and cooked them. The whole time they were waiting in line, they just cooked them. Like, look at this sorry ass, ugly ass. Then you just sit there like. <laughs> He's just on his laptop. His job. Just trying to nah, do that nigga wanted problems. Real talk. Cause he didn't have to do none of that shit, bro. Like, telling us to line up and then not let nobody on that bitch. Calling niggas to the front and then not saying a word to them. Like, nigga, if, if we wasn't going to time out, you ain't have to tell us we was going to time out, my nigga. Good. They should have cooked them in. Fuck that nigga, bro. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, me, you don't know. Nah, fuck him. <laughs> All right. Care. He I ten told. You know I should have been up there with him cooking Nah, I know. Up. I know that. Nigga. I should have been cooking nigga. that nigga, No, nah, fuck that nigga on everything. I should have been up. <laughs> I hate, bro. Y'all are hilarious, man. Nah, man. That shit was... Shit was crazy. Oh, so, damn, I'm going to tell this one story, and then we can get into anime content. Uh, we were in the Uber to the airport. I've never been in a normal Uber ride with any of my friends before. For whatever reason, we always get the crazy Uber drivers. It's this uh, British lady. First off, whenever we're in the Uber, you got to pick up your phone. That's what we do, because we be in the group chat. Whole Uber ride, niggas just be in the group chat. <laughs> this British lady talking, whatever. Nick, message from Nick. He said, this accent got to be fake. I was like, I started listening. This shit started sounding a little fake, right? And then she she started saying certain words, and I'm like, hmm, that shit sounded, a little, shit sounded a little American. I don't know what's going on there, right? But we was in the group chat talking about that. And then she starts talking about the convention that we're at. And she starts just cooking influencers and, like, social media personalities and just, like, cooking them. You know what I'm saying? Just baking them. Y'all know me, man. I got to I gotta have some fun with it, right? You let her get in her bag. I got right with her. Um, I was like, yeah, like, just because they got 
a couple of hundred thousand followers. They think they could talk about us. They think they know a little bit, blah, blah, blah. But she's idiots. They are idiots. They don't know nothing. <laughs> I'm like, no, they really don't. Like, and then, uh, then Ouch joined in. He like, yeah, and I could understand if they were talking about something like important or whatever, but then someone just be talking about silly shit like anime and cartoon shit. Exactly. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like she's literally just in this bitch cooking, right? And she starts talking about the difference between like America and Britain, right? Yeah. And then she starts talking about like relationships and how girls just be trying to get things from guys and then guys be fake flexing and they don't actually have money. None of that. Granted. I'm a broke nigga. You know what I'm saying? We all broke niggas. No. So I'm like, all right, shit, let's add some fuel to the fire. I'm literally in this bitch, and I'm like, she talk about dudes, and I'm like, right. And then sometimes dudes be in this bitch, and they going on trips that they can't even afford. They buying tickets to get to the trip. They didn't even buy the tickets till two days before they left. Whole time, that's exactly what happened to us. I'm like, two days before they leave, they buying the ticket. They don't even got money to actually be going for a shit. Exactly. That's crazy. Um, yeah, four of them in one hotel room, one one on the couch, two of them got to share a bed. Like, mm-hmm. this shit don't make no mm-hmm. damn thing. They can't even afford Waffle House. They eating the intercontinental breakfast at the hotel. She, <laughs> exactly. But like, just, she wilding. Nick, like, Four of them sharing one Uber, just sitting in the Uber, <laughs> all four of them. They trying to split the bill on the Uber. It's mad, isn't it? It's crazy. She just going off. We literally talk about our life situations. We mm-hmm. so Noah's in the whip. Y'all don't know Noah's car situation, but he has an Audi and his shit don't run. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, niggas got an Audi. That bitch just sitting in the garage. That that whole just that whole in the garage don't even run for real. She she can't even move. She crazy. She right just why? And I'm like, whole time could have bought a new car with the money you spent to fix it, <laughs> but this shit don't even run. She exactly, but just <laughs> and then you turn and look at that. No, <laughs> she going on like yo, she's going off. Of <laughs> but Nick Nick get to cook it with it. He like yeah, like. Uh, gray Audi, red interior. Just literally <laughs> describing this nigga's car. Red interior, gray Audi, just sitting in the garage. Don't move. You drove it one time. Couldn't get the emissions test because the shit wasn't like <laughs> play by play. What's going on in this nigga's night? Noah's dying right now, right? I'm like, bro, right? And that whole time, his little brother don't even be talking that much, bro. Just quiet. <laughs> 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 Don't got shit to do with what we talking about. Shorty is big Caleb. <laughs> Yo, if Shorty got the bacon Caleb, that would be hilarious. Bro, and then, He's like, yeah, look at him. Said, right. <laughs> but, but she just agreed, but she got no idea what we even talking about. We just in that bitch. Like, I started going on Nick. I'm like, yeah, like, and then we got niggas that's just dating girls at Target. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Making beats. Just all types. <laughs> the fact that she <laughs> didn't pick up on this is, is wild. I mean, she don't know our lives. So Bro, no that specific is her. crazy. But that's why it was funny. <laughs> like, I was, we were saying hyper specific shit Bro, and she was just going along. The fact it. that she could I feel like you should have been able to pick up on that. She wasn't listening to a word we were saying, bro. Like she was really she just, was just, she was just, just mad. angry. She yeah, was just mad, bro. Off, bro. Just getting her just shit mad. off. Just mad. Like these people are making money off the internet. Look <laughs> at them. But it was just about Terrible. more than that. It was about relationships. It was about <laughs> literally everything, everything. Bro. Just going off. And I was having, we had so much fun in that Uber. <laughs> Noah was literally in that bitch crying like tears, tears streaming down his face because that, that shit was crazy, man. I had a great time. That was funny. MomoCon 10 out of 10 experience. I will definitely be at next year's MomoCon. It was awesome spending time with Sterling and um, hanging out with the D Spears team. It was cool, man. If I met you at MomoCon, thanks for coming up to me, talking to me. It was a really cool time. I probably met a good 15, 20 people. Man. That's more than at DreamCon. At DreamCon, it was like nine. Man. This year, it was like 20 people at MomoCon. It was like, hey, I know you. You'll be on TikTok or yo, the Storm Podcast or. Hey, like, I was like, oh, shit, like, we really in this bitch. And niggas actually give a fuck about what the content we're making is. Yeah, shit was kind of cool, dope. Man. Shit was cool. I, I really, uh, really had a blast with that. It's just been a very life-changing week in terms of content. And I know it sounds like I'm just bragging a lot, but this is the last thing, because I got this. I got to get this one off, bro. This shit fire. No need to be humble. No need to be humble. It ain't even about, like, not being yeah. humble. This is just a really cool last accomplishment. Bruh, this month, I made more money content creating than I ever made on any of my target checks. Like, then my biggest target check, I made more than that on TikTok. 
Now, I'm not going to say the number I made off of TikTok, but it was more than any of my target checks, which is just literally insanity. Yeah, that's lit. That shit was crazy, bro. Niggas made more on TikTok than at Target, bro. That's fire. Man, niggas just... That's just life-changing shit, bro. Like, I'm really trying to kill the game and just make some some cool shit happen, bro. Feel it up. I really need to buy a PC, though. That's... Oh, yeah, you do use a laptop, true. Yeah, yeah, I really need to save up some money for a PC. Yeah. That's a big thing that I need. Yeah, PC is definitely the wave. Yeah, because a nigga definitely don't got one. Yeah. Yeah, but, all right, on to the anime content. What's the uh, timestamp? Like, what's it say, 20? Yeah, 20. Okay, bet. All right, so, a lot of y'all liked the video we did a couple weeks ago. It did a lot of views. Um, About, we did guessing the top... 10 most popular anime characters on Kiss Anime, guessing the top 10 currently watched anime, uh, according to, uh, on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. According to my anime list, what, I said that completely wrong. You guys are going to guess the top 10 upcoming anime according to my anime list. So these are ones that are not out yet. Oh, okay. So it might be a season two. It might be a new season. What are the top ten most anticipated according to my anime list? Now, you guys probably aren't going to get number ten. It looks familiar, but I don't know. You guys probably aren't going to get number ten. Hold on. Let me look up up what this is. Because it might have a different American name. Because that shit do look familiar. I got I got my first one. All right, all right hold like on, just give me give me one second. Like, and these are all like Bro. next. Okay, seasons. yeah, that's not out yet. That's not out yet. These are all like next seasons that are coming out later or are like just starting. What do you mean? Uh, like a- anticipated seasons of anime. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right. What you got? Jujutsu Kaisen. Number two on the list. I would have thought it was number one. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was actually number two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. E. What's your guess? Dang, I feel like I just had one. I'm going to throw something. Fire Force. No. Okay. I feel like Fire Force should be on this list, though. I kind of threw that one. I didn't I didn't think it was going to be on that Chainsaw one. Man? Uh, it's actually not. Chainsaw Man is not in the top 10. Surprising, mm. but yeah, not in the top 10. Mm. Um, am I tweaking? Attack on Titan? <laughs> what? Uh, Attack on Titan is not on this list. Mm. I, uh, Blue Lock. Blue Lock is not on this list. Damn. Yeah. Mm. I felt like Blue Lock was going to be an easy one. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm excited. Kaiju number eight? Kaiju number eight is not on this list. Oh, dang. That's a little bit harder for you guys than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to think of like new anime. Black Clover. Boom. Black Clover, Sword of the Wizard King, number six on the list. Mm. I can't wait for that. Oh, my God. I can't wait for that. June 16th. Coming soon. Dang. Uh, bro, I just had one. Oh, crap. I just had it. And then I forgot it. I just lost it that fast. I'm mad. Um, is One Piece still even going on? <laughs> one Piece isn't anticipated. It comes out yeah. every week. Oh, I didn't know it was like, it's yeah, still going. Like, yeah. Oh. No. That, that was my guess. You can what you guys see? <laughs> um,. Hunter Hunter? No. Wow. You, you no. never know. You never know if people are just excited to get what the rest of the, the yeah. story is. Yeah. I think there's one of these that y'all can maybe guess, but I don't think e no, actually no. I know C two has at least started it. Um there's another one that hasn't started yet, and the rest of them y'all should be able to get. Um Um Oh crap, I just had it. What is it called? Oh dang it. Solo leveling? Boom! Solo Ooh. leveling, number nine. I feel like solo leveling should be higher, but I guess it hasn't started yet, so I was that like, makes it's sense. New, so yeah, that makes yeah, sense. I that makes sense. Get that. Yeah, I can't wait for that to come out. I've had friends talk about that for years. Yeah, everybody yeah. keeps talking about solo leveling. I'm waiting on that. Man. Antis- what I got? Anticipated. I'm just like thinking about animes that I'm like... Top upcoming. Yeah. Uh, there's one that you should be able to get that like is in your personal tastes. Is JoJo on there? No. 
Don't nobody want that shit. Niggas <laughs> want that shit. <laughs> Niggas want that shit. <laughs> I don't even see JoJo in the top 25. Well, I don't know if people are anticipating. It's, it's more Stone Ocean. Oh, Blue Lock is on there. It's just number 30. Ah. Uh, but I'm still on Stone Ocean right JoJo. now. And they've been selling. Selling the bitch. Damn, I still don't see the fucking JoJo. I'm on fucking 50. Kaiju number eight is 54. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I feel like that should have been much higher. I, I agree. That should be way higher on this list. Dang, I can't even think of This shit I ain't never even heard anything. of before higher than fucking that. Um, Nigga, say something. Come I, on, I don't even know. Fairy tale. I just had to throw something. Nah. Dang. That's far down the list. Okay, that makes People sense. are anticipating? Yeah. Well, what is, is there more? It's coming back. The 100 year quest. Oh, I, I don't know what that is, but yeah. Oh, so it's coming back. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I don't watch that shit, but yeah, that's what's happening allegedly. Uh, I'm trying to think of oh. Uh, there's one you should get. There's one I should. What are you anticipating? I'm trying to think. Um, no. You don't know what you anticipate? Oh, Tower of God? No. <laughs> but good <laughs> guess. Because I'm anticipating Tower <laughs> of God. That's what but, I'm waiting on. But no, it's not on there. But really good guess. Because I'm anticipating Tower of God. I need yeah, that. Yeah, I need that. Uh, Mob Psycho? It's over. Oh, I didn't yeah, know. That was, that was, <laughs> I was trying to yeah, think that, of something C2 would anticipate. That, that show is finished. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, aha! I think he just got it. <laughs> one Punch Man, <laughs> boom! One oh, Punch Man is number eight. Really? That wasn't the one I was. Yeah, that's number eight though. Oh, yeah, oh I was Man. thinking the. Uh, no, no, you watched the second season, right? No, you season can... two of One Punch Man was fantastic. Yeah, gas. That it was. Gas. The animation a little shaky, but everything else, I think, key. for the every bit the animation was shaky. They upped on the, the story. story yeah, a bit. Like, yeah. So I agree with that. Yeah. I, I, I can agree. The uh, Ranking of Kings spinoff or something? No. Apparently that's coming out right now, I guess. Oh. I didn't know that. But oh, yeah, I no, not that. that. Good guess, though. Uh. Mm. Come on. Some of these are easy, bro. One of these is... Su- two of these are super easy. I'm trying to think. What is niggas anticipate? Two of these are <laughs> yeah, dumb easy... To- yeah, but two it's... of them y'all should be able to guess. Th- 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 yeah, three of them y'all. y'all should be able to guess these. There's only <laughs> one y'all should not be able to get. The rest of these y'all should be able to guess. I'm trying to think, man. Come on, man. Y'all sleep. I am sleep. I've been sleeping. Oh. Yeah, for real. I'm trying to think. What are some of the most popular shit that people will want back? Uh, Dragon Ball Super. Nobody want that shit. <laughs> and nigga, they've been dropping movies. I'm that, like, shit, nigga true. might be anticipating. Nah. Like, that has the possibility of being on that list. Don't nobody want that. Niggas be wanting that, man. Nah. One of the Jobless highest reincarnation? Person. Boom! Jobless Reincarnation, number mm. three. Mm. Really? People are that... Uh, Bro, that show was fantastic. That. Yeah, it I can see good. that. That's one of the best isekai I've ever watched. I could totally understand that. Name a better isekai. Konosuba. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> number four. Let's go. Let's go. is number four on the list. So now you guys only need one, five, seven, and you guys aren't going to get ten. The, the fact that we need one is crazy. <laughs> the one that is number one is insane. It's insanity. I would never put this number one. You would have never guessed that it was number one for anticipation? For number one? No. I heard the streets talking about it, but I didn't know the streets was talking about it like this. Hmm. I would have never guessed this would be number one. I would have put JJ. My hero? One. No. Okay. Boruto? No. Yeah, it is. No. I'm trying to Hell think of something no. that people wouldn't really want that much. Yeah, but that that's different than like... Yeah, I would have never expected it, and there's... Well, yeah, true, I never expected it. I yeah. don't think this shit should be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't... So, based on what I've seen of this show, I'm not anticipating the next season. Mm. Oh, do you know what it is? Maybe. 
Oh, go ahead. I thought of some. Uh, Kodoro yeah. Lives Alone? Oh, fuck no. Oh. Fuck no. Because I know a lot of people that. like it. I just know you didn't. No, I don't know where I want that shit. <laughs> a lot of people liked it. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess niggas don't want I that. guess. I don't know. It might have. I don't know how it finished. I didn't watch it for real, so it might be done. done. <laughs> yeah, it could, it could just be done. You just gave up on it. Yeah, it might just be straight done. I don't know. But yeah, I wouldn't have expected this to be one. Five is going to be a little bit harder to get. Seven, y'all should have been got. Um, and ten, y'all just aren't getting. Hmm. Unless y'all magically know number ten. But. That, that was funny that you said name better Isakai. <laughs> it was, exactly. It was dead. That was funny. Number four, Konosuba. The goat. That shit makes me laugh for real. Y'all need a hint? Yeah, I'll take a hint. Um what number y'all want the hint on? One. Y'all want the hint for number one. <laughs> um like... the hint for number one is oh, wait. Saint one was kind of crazy. It's coming back for the third season. Okay. They're anticipating the third season. <clears throat> it's, it's third season. Um, Fire Force? That was your first guess? And the answer was no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's still no. <laughs> I was automatically started thinking the third season. Yeah, no. Nah. See, not I, I guess I I would have said good guess if you didn't guess it. No, all. There's yeah. no way. It's, there's no way. It's, nah. What, what are you gonna guess? I don't even think it's in its third season. So, like, give it a guess. Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? No. Yeah, I think so, that's on his fourth season. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I I don't. Yeah. Even, yeah. Nah. Nobody's waiting for that. Yeah. Niggas not waiting on that. Um, I think he got it. Tokyo Avengers. He don't got it. I'm just automatically going. I thought you had it. Third bro. seasons, bro. I thought you had it. Oh, you I'm just going. Because I thought he it. had it. I'm thinking of third season. I man. thought he had it. Oh my god, the third season. <laughs> I guess that was a good guess, though. Uh, Highly anticipated. So yeah, nah. Dang. Y'all really ain't got nothing. Nah, bro, I'm just like third season and highly anticipated. Uh, Do y'all need another hint? <laughs> it's been stuck they they probably minute. got it by now. I was about now. to say, some people got it. The viewers it. probably got it by now. Yeah. Um, let's see. What's another hint that won't completely give it away? Um, uh, I'm trying to think. The. How do I not give it away? We. The second season was super ass. Oh, it was, it was just super. Really? Ass. So, it was, it was, OK. The then second season was terrible. Then I know. What is it? Well, Promise Neverland. No, there's no way. <laughs> Promise Neverland is done. Oh. I haven't watched it, so I don't know what season. I, is it ReZero or something? No. Oh. Uh, ReZero is like number 12 on the list. Oh. But or no, it's number 16. SAO. Bro, the, the, SAO come back for season six. Well, yeah. oh, I, I I just remember niggas saying we all have seasons. watched it, so it's not anything that we haven't watched. Like oh. we've all watched this. We didn't finish the, the. We didn't all finish the second season, but we all have watched this show and know this show. Oh, there you nope. go. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's only one it. season. I was gonna say Trigun. Oh no, damn, bro, you should have it. None of us finished the second. I don't. No, nah, I'm not saying none of us finished it. One of us may have finished it. I know I didn't finish it. <laughs> I'm not sure if one of us finished it or not. I know two of us didn't. One of us may have, but I can't remember. And its third season is anticipated. It, uh, well, I would. I wouldn't expect it, that to be anticipated, but I guess it is. But I wouldn't expect that. Wow. I'm like just one so of us lost finished right it? Now. Yeah. I'm like. No, I don't know for a fact that one of us finished it. Oh, you know, you know two of you didn't finish it. I know it. two of us didn't finish okay. it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not sure. We said Promise Neverland, right? You got short term memory, bro. Yeah, yeah, I do. I just said it. Okay. Uh, what is it, bro? No. Nah. Damn, that, that, was, that was one season. Platinum's End was one season. Now was... Platinum End is finished. It, yeah. it made oh. us Platinum End. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
For real? Y'all ain't got nothing? You, do y'all need another hint? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You might as well give it away. <laughs> um, The main group is the main character and his two female companions. One of them may or may not be human. Two of them. They're not. Oh, human. Shield Hero? Yeah, there you go. Shield Hero. Oh. Hmm. That's really That's the number most one. Yeah. Anticipated. It's number one. Yeah. I wasn't expecting Shield Hero to be number one. Now I y'all would, just got. Yeah, I 100% would not I was have guessed that. Never yeah. known. Uh, five and seven. That must be like some manga stuff that people know that it's going to be good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, five that's and what I'm thinking. Five and seven. Seven, y'all should get. Y'all should have been said. Five is going to be a little bit harder to uh, get, but seven, y'all should have been said. Is One that of, a high school even coming back? No. Um, no. Or I don't think so. Uh-uh. One of the most popular anime of 2022. Um, hmm. It's literally layup. You said the oh, one of the most popular. Mm-hmm. I can't even remember. It's debatably the most popular. It, okay, no, it's not. But it's one of the most popular. Of 2022? 2022. I can't remember. I don't even remember when some like, of these like, anime what? come out. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, like, that might have been 2021. <laughs> wait, that might have been 2021. I think it started in 2021. Ended in 2022. I don't even remember, like, what anime. Was that, like... 2021. No, no. Yeah, it's 2022. It's 2022. I think it's 2022. When did Demon Slayer start up? Was that 2021? Okay, so we're current. No, it's not Demon Slayer. We're watching. I know, but I'm thinking about when it dropped. 2019. Uh, But we're watching Demon Slayer currently, so it can't be Demon Slayer. I know it wasn't Demon Slayer. I'm just trying to think of that time period of like when, what year. God. Like I'm, I've watched so much anime in this time. We have talked but, about this one weekly on the podcast before. Yeah, I, that's what I was assuming. Yeah, right? like yeah. But when you said 2022, I don't know why that year just like. <laughs> just, <laughs> We've talked of, about that show in our old studio and in this current studio. Mm, okay. Still not ringing no bells? It's not ringing no not bells. Really. The main cast is a trio. Uh, Man. I know the listeners have to have it. By, I, like I know, <laughs> I know the listeners have I'm to have it. I'm so by now. lost right now. Yeah, I really don't know. Nope. Mm. Mm. That's actually insane. Y'all can't think of any popular anime of 2022? No. Not really. I'm honestly I can't, blanking I'm, on 2022 yeah, I'm, anime. I'm drawing a blank at where the timeline starts for 2022 anime. I'm drawing a yeah, complete I'm, blank. I don't know. Like, I literally... Um, I think my brain was just wrecked so hard looking for the number one. <laughs> I have, I'm standing like in a room of scattered papers. I can't even think of like anime no we've reviewed on the podcast for some reason. The main character, one of the main characters, has superpowers. Debatably two, but like no, only only the one of them, but debatably two. Uh huh. <laughs> I, mean, I was like that barely like, even helped me I'm trying like, to think of that just really drew me like barely I didn't, how say, does I, nigga, I didn't say barely I said debatably yeah but like how does a, someone debatably have powers <laughs> I could kind of understand that but like well I, if I still the can't. show says you don't have powers but then we watch you kick a car across the street 
Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Spy Family. There you go. Yeah. It, Spy Family shouldn't have taken that long. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't have took that long. <laughs> Spy Family should not have taken that long. Yeah, yeah. I definitely, but I wouldn't have guessed it was that anticipated. It was one of the most popular animals. Yeah, I was about to say, that makes sense. It, yeah, it but just most anticipated for the next season. Yeah, that makes total sense. That makes perfect sense. I don't know. Yeah, people love Spy Family. Yeah. All right, I'll give y'all, all right, fifth place is going to be a little bit harder. Um, do y'all want me to just tell y'all? Y'all want me to give y'all a hint or what y'all want me to do? You can just uh, say it at this point. Yeah, I we lost. We, <laughs> we lost. Fifth place, I, I, give, I give them a hint. I give the people a hint. Uh, it has one of the most egregious first episodes in all oh, of anime. Uh, Goblin Slayer? Goblin Slayer was yeah. number five. Makes sense. And number ten, I don't know what this is, but Yujo Senkai? No? Yeah, I don't know what no that is. No idea. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard of that one, but she just anticipated, so maybe I'll check it out. Yeah. Hmm. Number 11 was Classroom of the Elite. I really need to watch that show. Yeah. Jordan keeps telling me that shit hit, so. Yeah. Apparently, the Yuri on Ice movie is also highly anticipated. I thought that was already a movie. That's a show? I believe so. Uh uh-uh. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I haven't watched it. But I want to watch it. I heard it's very good. Hmm. I've yeah. heard nothing but good things about Yuri on Ice. It seems like it would be interesting. I would watch it. Hmm. That one was a lot harder for you guys than I expected. I can't lie to y'all. With, oh, the, the yeah, Spy Family? Yeah, that shouldn't No, just the whole list was, oh. was tough for y'all. Yeah. It, it's... It was just tough because it's like recalling a bunch of anime and being yeah. like, which ones are anticipated, which ones aren't. And yeah. it's just like. And even though I've like, watched some anime, some of them are just like so low in my conscience that I don't even think I watched it for real. Like Your conscience? Yeah. Your consciousness? My consciousness, my con- is it not the same thing? No, well, it's not the same like thing. Conscience is like Jiminy Cricket on yeah. your shoulder, like yeah. telling you the right and wrong thing to do. Yeah, those aren't the same thing. But yeah. They're just so low in my consciousness that I don't even recall me watching it for real. You don't remember watching Spy Family? I do. I barely remember anything that happened in Platinum End. I barely remember. Yeah, but we weren't talking about Platinum End. Yeah, no, I'm just just recalling anime that we've watched. When I, I don't remember. I'm just recalling anime, and I'm like, yo, like you said, trio. Didn't help. Yeah, I couldn't like, think of like, any, it. It didn't like, help trio. because I have shifted through 50, 60 anime <laughs> at this point. Like, I just feel like I'm running back through papers and I'm seeing the same anime. <laughs> like, right. oh, That's you fair. said trio. And I feel like a lot of main groups Naruto are like trios. <laughs> it's just like, fair it's enough. Just bad. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Um, all right. C2 gave us a cool idea that we're going to do. It's a new game we're going to start playing on the podcast. It, damn, I almost just died. Did you see that? Mm-mm. My foot like rolled on the cord. How? Yeah, Jesus, that was about to be bad. I don't see how. The... Yeah, I couldn't have went nowhere. I'm sitting. I was like, how would that have been bad? I don't know, but whatever. Um, okay, so it's a new game we're playing. It is watch, binge, or drop. So basically, it's a version of fuck, Mary kill. Uh, watch is an anime that you know you'll check it out, watch a little bit of it. Binge is one that you really fuck it with. You trying to. You're trying to really watch that hoe. Yeah. And drop is one that's like, nah, bro. Get that out of here. I don't really need... I don't need that. Yeah. All right. So, watch, binge, or drop the big three. Let me hear your lineup. Hmm. I think when it comes to drop, I I got to go with Bleach. Just because Damn. the beginning of Bleach, it's so hard to get into for me. I can't get into it. Ah, it is. I've literally rewatched it, and I'm like, I can't. I don't understand the appeal of this. I get the the end, or I've heard people say that the thousand year blood war is amazing. I don't care, bro. When he first becomes a, I don't even remember what it's called. Soul Reaper. Once he first becomes a Soul Reaper, bro, I don't care about anything that he's doing. <laughs> like, okay yeah i think i gotta put that on the drop that hurt but i i let it rock when i go watch i guess i gotta go one piece just because like it does seem very interesting like even the beginning seems like a great like anime i just haven't been able to watch it mm-hmm. uh and then when i gotta go binge i'll go naruto Okay. All it's right. the most interesting one to me. It's the one that grasps my attention the most and enough for me to actually watch it. Like people have told me about One Piece. I was never like, mm, I'm gonna watch One Piece now. People told me about Bleach, tried it, hated it. Not hated it. Took too long. So 
somebody told me about Naruto, and I was like, all right, I actually got to watch this. And I watched it, and it was good. So You didn't finish Naruto. I know, but it was still good. I watched all, I watched I, I all of, I don't know. I watched all of the first Naruto. I got through a couple episodes of Bleach. Could not do it. And, you know, One Piece haven't even watched so i can't really put that on the binge list like okay i mean that's a fair list that's a fair list see what you got watch marry or no my bad (laughs) watch binge and drop i've been thinking and i was because i really want to watch bleach right like that's probably higher up on the like just to complete the like big three right just get everything out the way facts so I would have to drop it now because I haven't watched it. Okay. Uh, I would probably put Naruto on the watch and then binge One Piece. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. I'm, I'm with that. All right. This is going to be a little bit harder for me because I've actually like got a good sample size of all three of them because y'all haven't really gotten into Bleach for real. Yeah. But, yeah. <sighs> okay, for my watch spot, I'm going to go Naruto. I enjoy Naruto. Uh, I really love Naruto. I frequently go back and watch like a lot of the fights or I might like watch maybe an arc or something like that just because it's a really good series, you know? Yeah. It does have its issues. It has a lot of fucking problems throughout that that series. So that's why it's going in the watch spot and not the binge spot. Binge, I gotta say Bleach. I was one of the biggest Bleach haters in the world because I had only watched the first couple episodes. And then when I got to the Soul Society arc, that shit is heat from that point on. The Thousand Year Blood War arc, one of the best arcs of anime i ever seen. One of the best moments was watching that shit. Bleach is fantastic. I got to put that in the binge spot. Drop, I'm going to go One Piece. I am not far enough in One Piece to get to the part where everybody says I'm going to fall in love. Uh, I just finished Skypiea. I haven't watched any of Water 7 yet. Everybody says Water 7 is where that shit really gets lit for real. And I haven't gotten to Water 7. And as of right now, I'm like, okay, this is cool. I could never... If nobody was like, hey, this shit gets better, I could never watch One Piece again and be okay with my life. So I'm going to go watch Naruto, binge Bleach, drop One Piece. That's valid. Yeah. That's valid. That's how that's how I'm rocking. I think that's what I would have expected. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was like a big surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's do the dark trio. Watch, binge, or drop the dark trio. Um for the people who don't remember from seconds ago. Watch is one you just gonna check out, like you fuck with it, it's cool. Binge is one that you're in love with, you really wanna watch it, and then drop is something that's like, yo, gotta get it off the list. I'm not gonna check it out. Mm. For the Dark Trio, that's Chainsaw Man, Hell's Paradise, and um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. In my watch spot, this is actually hard. Wait a minute. Why is this so difficult? Yeah. I thought everybody was going to have the same one, actually. Really? Yeah. I know what I'm putting in my binge spot. Wait, can you re-say the anime? Am I lost? It was Hell's Paradise. Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man. Man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, For some reason, I thought Black Clover was a part of that. (laughs) Nah. Okay. Nah, it's not the Dark Trio. I was like, because if that's there, then it's Clip. Nah, nah, that's not the Dark Trio. It's a Clip. I know it's in my binge spot. I don't know what I'm going to put in the watch and drop spot. Hmm. Um, Actually, I think I do. I think I... Damn. Fuck. All right. Watch, I'm going to go Hell's Paradise. Hell's Paradise is hitting. I'm really enjoying it, even though it's only on, what, episode 9? Yeah. 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 Something. Yeah. It's eight. episode 9, 8. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun watching it. I love all the characters. I love the art, the fights, the world. Everything about it is cool. I'm going to put that in the watch. Binge, I have no option but to go Jujutsu Kaisen. That shit is fucking fantastic. I love every second of it. I love... Gojo, Megumi, Itadori, Nobara, like, the cast is, fa- Toto, come on, man, like, the cast is incredible, yeah. the story is good, Rip Big June, like, you know what I'm saying, that shit just hit too hard, bro, Yeah. in the drop spot, I'm gonna go Chainsaw Man, that shit had hella hype, it was still very good, but it did not live up to the hype, it was cool, I enjoyed it, but like, if I had to drop one, I'm gonna go with that. 
Mm. Yeah. What you guys see? So the binge is clearly Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, I don't think that's any type of... There's no talking about it. Yeah. The movie was amazing. The show is good. They haven't missed. Um... They actually have not. Like, they just haven't missed. They have not missed. Yeah. No, not an episode. Not a... Just haven't missed. No misses. So, they haven't missed on a character. Like, even... If I'm supposed to hate a guy, I... Like, I hate him. Yeah. 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 They haven't missed. Like, everything is, like, pretty accurate with that show right now. Facts. Um... I might take Chainsaw Man over Hell's Paradise. On the watch? On the watch, mm. yeah. Okay, I'm, like, I'm not I'm mad like, at that. I'm not mad at that. Because with Chainsaw Man, I feel like the stakes are there for some reason. Like, they're wi- they're willing to kill people around him in the show. And that's Hell's something that Hell's we've Paradise, seen. they killed yeah. they, anybody can go. No, yeah, but they haven't, like, they they've only made you really care about, like, Sagiri... And Gabi Maru, like you're the, those I care are the, about the brothers. I care about everybody. I don't. I didn't really, or at least to an extent. I don't. I don't really. I didn't really care about the brothers per se. Well, I like the brothers. I don't have a reason to care about them. Okay, that's I don't fair. like. I'm not caring. Um, where in Chainsaw Man, I when like I actually care about Denji. Like right. I, at a certain point, like there you actually build a connection with him as a character, and I start caring about um. I I, I forgot his name. Damn, don't care that much. Uh, <laughs> Which cool. one? Uh, the buddy with the sword. The buddy with the sword. Oh, Aki. Yeah, Aki. Yeah, Aki. I could. Re- I, I almost called him Megumi, but, but he is. yeah, <laughs> he is. yeah. But yeah, Aki was a great character. Yeah. Yeah. I like I liked Makima. I liked like the P I liked his group. Right. Right? Like his group started to like build a connection. And they even even uh what is her name Kobani? Kobani. Kobani. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh she like even she left a lasting impression. Like the crazy girl. Like that even everything left I really enjoyed that show, so I think I'm gonna have to put it over Hell's Paradise. I think Hell's Paradise is a great show. Yeah. But I is. think, I think Chainsaw Man has me a little bit more for now. Okay. Shit. I'm with that. Yeah. I I'm feel that. You, e. I feel that. If I'm going binge, I gotta go JJK. Obviously. Nothing has even touched it right now. It is strides above the rest of those, I believe. Like, that's one of my favorite anime. Uh, if I gotta go watch, I'm gonna go Hell's Paradise. I'm definitely the most invested in this world. Behind JJK, of course. Right. I'm the most invested in this world than in Chainsaw Man. The characters, I care about all of them. I don't think there's any character that I don't care about right now. Like In Hell's Paradise? Yeah. Like, what about the tree nigga? I, I do kind of care about him. I don't care about that tree nigga. That's I do fair. kind of care about him. Like, Caring about that tree nigga is not fair. Eh, Groot's cool, though. <laughs> he's, with him. he's valid, but he's not. Uh, caring about this nigga, there's no reason to care. I think I think I it would draw a reaction if something bad, like, happened for real, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, once again, the world, I would... I. My thing with anime is I like to flesh out the world and see what's going on. There's a lot going on right here, and I really want to see, like, what's about to happen. So, that means my drop would have to be Chainsaw Man. I do like it. It never really got that big of a, like, reaction out of me, honestly. Like, I can watch it. It's a good anime. But it's, it's not really up there at all for me. Like, it's not that high. Yeah, so, sure. so, yeah, that's it. Like, I like the characters. I like Denji, Kobeni, Makima. All of them are cool, but... It's not really anything I haven't seen before. I feel like JJK and Hell's Paradise are doing something that I haven't really seen before. And what if Chainsaw Man came out before Jujutsu Kaisen? It came out before Jujutsu Kaisen. I would still like Jujutsu Kaisen more. But I'm saying, like, I, if I think the thing that's is, it's doing something. Spot. If it's doing something that you haven't seen before, I'm assuming the scene before for Chainsaw Man is Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes. Hmm. It was like, I don't think Jujutsu Kaisen was really doing something I hadn't seen before in that aspect, but it just took something that I had seen before and made it better. Mm. Like, 
we've seen the main or protagonist, you know, kind of like goofy, the, 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 the dark side character, the girl, like, you know, like, that's how, that's how it be in a lot of anime. But, but the thing is like, no bar is actually a character. So like right. they actually did something there. He said, the girl. But that's how it is in anime. Like, come on now. Okay. But they actually did something with Nobara, which I like. Right. It's a good thing about JJK. And there's more than just that trio. Like, it's the trio in Sensei, but it's also the sidekick. Like, they play Toto, a huge part. Maki, Inumaki. Yeah, like, they all play a massive part in Nanami. the story. Yeah, even, like, the small, like, side-side characters still Rip play. Big June. Big June, come on now. Panda, I fucks with my boy. Panda, that nigga. Shout out, Panda. Makamaru, and we didn't really care that much about him. He's all right, but... I, I really didn't give half a fuck about Yeah, him. I mean, like, he didn't do much, that but... That nigga step in the sun and die for all I care. Yeah, I mean... That was aggressive, but yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was aggressive. I was like, but. all right. But, yeah, like, JJK, I don't think either of the big trio or, or those other big trio are doing it like them, so... Okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I fuck with that. That's a cool game. What's uh what's the time stamp? Uh the time stamp is at fifty six. Shit, we could do one more. Uh you got one E? For like a pick? Yeah, Dang. a watch, I actually binge and drop. Crap, I'm mad because I actually did have something and then I forgot it. Sports anime? Was that what yeah. Well he ain't watched it. Oh, you have not watched but we yeah. can do it. What Dang. you got? Uh, if I gotta go, what what are the options? Oh, well, we blue lock, uh, Korakos, and <laughs> well, I think you could just do it without. You could just say sports anime and just pick three out. What what's some ass, some good? Well, not because you got to pick between the same three. I guess that's yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. Korakos, blue lock, and Haikyuu. I'm not that far in Korakos, but God damn, Korakos, blue lock, and Haikyuu. Yeah. Watch, binge, and drop. Yeah, I can actually. Oh my god! Not participate because I. Have I, like, I don't IQ. think you've seen any of. No, no. Oh, I've seen. Haven't... I've seen. A up lot? to like, like I think I was after uh, the shooter mm. in Kiri, uh, Kiriko's, but I. Yeah, oh, I, I just. Did, I haven't at... touched High Q. So yeah, like, I was like, I, I just got after the shooter, so I mean, like we're. Probably close to the same yeah, spot. I, this is, I, like, no nah, bro, because this is actually impossible. Because, like, damn. Yeah. Kirk, it is hard. If it's between Kuriko's, Blue Lock, and Haikyuu, watch, binge, drop. I can't drop any of them. And honestly, any of those three could go in the binge spot for real. They really could. Okay, all right. Let me make some. Let me make some hard decisions. I hate that I haven't finished Kurokos. Me too. Uh, fuck, bro. Okay, drop. Now nah, I'm gonna start with watch. Watch. I'm gonna. Oh my god, this is impossible. Nah, because I can't drop that one though. That's the problem. <laughs> like every time I'm like, all right, I watch this one. Binge, I can't drop it. Okay, fuck it. Damn, that hurts. I think I'm going to have to make this decision. Watch. I'm going to go with Blue Lock. Okay. I'm going to put Blue Lock in the watch spot. All right. This is, this is the hardest decision ever. Okay. Binge, I'm going to have to go with Haikyuu. Mm, okay. All right. And drop, I got to drop Kurkos. Mm. I'm not going to lie to That's you. That's crazy. That was damn near impossible. Because, like, you can't. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's tough, bro. That's crazy. I feel like I got it wrong. I, I think I did the order incorrectly, but I don't. No matter what simulation I run, yeah, it's like, gonna be either wrong. way, it's gonna feel you're gonna be wrong. Regardless. It's gonna feel bad. Like, dang, yeah. What about you? What you got? I think I, I for binge, 
that hurts. But I that hurts. <laughs> but for Benz, <laughs> Benz, I do gotta go IQ. Okay. Is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Nah, he can't. Dang, bro, that hurts. <laughs> All right, for watch, dang, there's like no characters that I, di- but I don't like, I don't dislike any, hmm, and the story so far. All right, for watch, I'm going to go Blue Lock. Mm. And then, yeah, I think I got to drop Korakos. Damn. I, I do believe that if I watch more Korakos, that will switch. So what's the last I'm thing you saw? I'm almost positive. What's the last thing you saw in Korakos? The, I still haven't. Who's the uh, last miracle you met? The last one that I met is still Midorima. Damn, you've been stuck on that for forever. I watched that shit in one night. Originally, I had like just gotten to Midorima. I've gotten like a couple episodes past, but uh, yeah, that was the last miracle. So you saw that game though? Yeah. Who won the game? That was the, uh, damn, which one was it? That was. You're talking Midorima versus Kurikos versus, uh. Oh, no, I was talking blonde hair versus uh, Kurikos. Oh, Kisei. Kisei, yeah. So you watch, so you haven't watched Midorima yet? I've seen him pull up, yeah. Midorima is green hair. Yeah, with glasses? Yeah. Yeah. You haven't seen him play yet? No. I think, um, him and Midorima, not Midorima. Him and the blonde hair were about to have a game, right? Kisei and Midorima? Yeah. Um, maybe? Did I tweak? I don't, maybe. I, don't I might be tweaking, because I haven't gotten to the game. It just seemed like they were about to. I think you're tweaking. Oh, okay. But yeah, I just, like, met Midorima then. Mm. But, yeah, I, th- I think if I got further down the line, that would probably take it. But what, what's it, where would it go? I think right now it's going to have to go to drop. But I'm saying, like, if you watch more, where do you think that would go? Binge? It would probably. Watch? From what I've seen right now, I'm more. Damn, Haikyuu is so good. Haikyuu. Nah, it's staying in the drop. I can't put anything past Haikyuu. You put Blue Lock past it like two weeks ago. But, bro, it's too far, right? Like, it's too far. <laughs> like, two weeks ago, you put Blue Lock ahead of it. Because it's one season that is better than this one. And it has more potential, but we don't go anime off of potential. So facts. So I gotta go. I gotta yeah. go. IQ. Damn. I like want to read the manga so bad. Like I've picked it up like eight times, and I've been like, Nah, I'm gonna wait for the anime. No, but yeah, IQ should be hidden though. Yeah, that should be hidden. Dang, I want to read the manga for for Blue Lock so bad, but I'm not. Bro, I be I be getting close. I've to picked it up like eight times. Like no. I like, be getting close I want to that so blue bad, manga, bro. But, bro. but I gotta, I gotta hold to. strong, bro. Yeah, I honestly hate it. Like, I, I actually want to, <laughs> but it's not gonna hit the same. I don't know, bro. You know it's not. I really don't know. You know it's not. I really like manga. Like manga is good, but you like, know it don't hit as hard as anime. I don't know, bro. You know it doesn't. But getting that, st- I want the story. I want to see what. Like getting that early might might suffice. <laughs> be patient, bro. I, I want to read it. Be patient. Oh my God. I want to read it so bad. Be a real nigga and be patient, bro. You, know you can me, do it. You know I am right now. I looked at the cover of a blue lock thing, like, and it oh, just looks so fire. I can read it. It's in English right here, bro. <laughs> like, you just gotta be right patient, bro. Here. Real niggas got patience. Like you just look at the cover and it's just some fire. And I'm like. I'm a, I'm gonna read it. Like, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm gonna uh, like, I'm gonna bucket. just open it. It'd be some Pause. crazy on the cover. That was crazy. What'd you say? I'm gonna bust it open, bro. Fuck it. Pause. That's not that great. <laughs> I'm gonna bust it. it open, bro. Fuck <laughs> it. I get the pause. What? I get, I get the pause. But you know, that's crazy. But <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Are y'all ready to get a new anime? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah, 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 Demon Slayer. Before we talk about the new episode of Demon Slayer, I got something I got to read to y'all. This is on the YouTube comments. It is from Detrick Gardner. He D- said... D- Dietrich? Is, is that a name? Dietrich? Yeah, that's just what it... That seemed Oh, I never right. met anybody I could with be that wrong. name. Uh, Dietrich. If I said your name wrong, my bad. Uh, you spelled my name wrong, so I guess we're even. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I've been sitting on this for weeks, and I'm going to need Malcolm and C2 to put some respect on Emez's name because he's right about the upper moon the f- and the first sun breather being different people. Y'all have, and y'all have said it and didn't realize because the six arm machine is called Yoruichi Zero 
in the Upper Moon's one name is Kokoshiba. Kokoshiba, yeah. So I I'm gonna even... need y'all to apologize. <laughs> yeah, that is true, man. I'm standing. I'm still standing on that. That that like, it's based off the same nigga. They can't have a new name. Like what? it's anime. Niggas change their names all the time. But why would niggas uh, have aliases all the time? Actually, the fact that and he guess ch- what? You want to hear something crazy? <laughs> That nigga's name could be Yoruichi Kokushibo. <laughs> like, but it's yeah. still possible. Like what you mean? That is true. <laughs> like, but also it's uh, the the fact that like what? he's completely changed it now, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a different he like might he's have a, a new name. He's, he's damn near a com- yeah, he's damn near a completely for, different what, person. Three hundred years. So I could understand that, but sometimes I, they call Muzan Muzan. Sometimes they call him Kibutsuchi. That nigga's name could very well be Yorichi Kokushibo. I'm standing on it. That's I'm true. I'm standing on it. I get that. I'm and, doubling down. And we were clearly talking. We didn't say the the guy standing right there the, is that guy. We said that's clearly based off the same nigga who is the number one like demon. Yeah, I'm, I'm still standing like, on like, that. Like, I don't, I don't, the guy in the comments, I, I, like, yeah, you know what? You're 100% correct. Yeah. That, uh, the, the doll and Coco Shibo are not the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a stand But they look they're, like they're, they're modeled on the different same people person. too. They have different scars. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Other dude has one the, on his the, chin the, and his forehead. That's exactly what the so doll had. Didn't the doll, no, the, no the, the doll had chin and forehead. No, no, no. The demon had chin and forehead. Doll only had forehead. But it's a demon. It's the de- so uh, so like he fought, different. As was he demon, not bro. fighting? Until well, why would he gain another like? Because he was fighting Muzan literally as he got turned into a demon. You don't think his shit would get like? I'm a wall. <laughs> that was almost crazy. <laughs> that was almost crazy. Uh, was almost crazy. Uh, like. You don't think his demon scar would alter? <laughs> like, as he's fighting the, like, the demon? Or as because, okay, but like, really think about it, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, as a human, do you think that pot nigga had arms coming out of his head and like, mouths his eyes? You think he used to look like as that? As a human, no. Or you think he might have changed appearance a little bit once he became a demon? Arms and legs, yeah, but the... The regular people also have the scar. Regular people don't have arms and legs coming out their face. Oh, so you think, oh, so you think Kokushibo has six eyes? No, the nigga changed, bro. When you become a demon, new shit happened, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Am- Nezuko Ambo- don't just got fucking flowers on her regularly. That shit happened. But that's not her. Tanjiro already has that mark. Like, you know, so like, you think so? Changed. So you believe that if Tanjiro his became a demon, he would he look the exact fighting. same. It changed, but then it's it changed, and then it stayed. Like you know, but yeah, do but you think he would look the exact same if he became a demon? <laughs> you don't think if Tanjiro became a demon, he wouldn't get no new tattoos or hair might be a little different. He might get some new tattoo. I don't think he would get another scar or something no, no, like that. See, but that's what I'm talking about. Like the I scar don't, don't is just bigger because he was literally in a fight with Muzan. Like, imagine if he was fighting Muzan, how, like, if the scar gets bigger every time you're fighting, like, a crazy demon. When you're fighting the top demon, what you think the nigga scar gonna look like? Like, uh, I'm, I'm just saying, like, what do you think the scar is gonna look like? Yeah, I'm, I'm still doubling know. down. I'm doubling down that Coco Shibo. The fact the that same... they have two different names, I didn't even think about that. That's also true. But, but we don't know. Like, don't, first off, don't get me wrong. This is no hate to Dietrich. Like, I just yeah. took his comment because he said, get off you. And I'm like, nah, nigga, like, we're, you might we're, still be wrong. We're Look, still I'm not you saying I couldn't be wrong. I might be wrong too. Yeah, I'm not saying I couldn't be wrong. I still got my backup theory that them niggas was brothers, but that shit feels silly to me. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. But that's my backup theory. Yo. Yeah, 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 that's my backup theory, but like, I my, don't know. my theory is, Literally, I don't know about brothers. Like, I mean, there he's a demon. The, he could look the dream he that Tanjiro had. Matter. No, no right. my backup theory is them niggas are brothers, but that feels silly. No, I'm not even. I don't there's know. No how. backup theory, nigga. The person Tanjiro had the dream of was one of his ancestors, right? Meeting, and they all look so similar too. Like everybody in that clan looks super similar. But that's him though. The Reddit, bro. His, <laughs> no, <laughs> his that, dad looked mad guy similar. Looks exactly he looked, like Tanjiro that got that. Kokushibo like got that. You're like they all look Stop mad similar. Stop saying it like they two different niggas. They're they nah, all just like look mad niggas, similar, bro. bro. They're the same nigga. You're no. Oichi and Kokushibo. <laughs> I don't think that they're no. But like, oh shit! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! 
Yoruichi. So there's a chance, right? I just thought of some new shit right now. Okay. There's a chance that... Wait, what was his name when... So Yoruichi, yeah, that was when he was a human, right? Yeah. There's a chance Yoruichi was going up against Muzan, right? Muzan uh-huh. was scared of that nigga. Yeah. Somehow, Muzan was able to turn him into a demon and brainwash him and be like, yo, nigga, you're a Kokushibo. You fucks with me. So he don't even know he used to be Yoruichi. Because if he did, because if he did, he'd be like, yo, it's up for you, Muzan. Like, he might be on some, like, yo, brainwashed are you my dog now. Wait, so we don't we don't know if Yoruichi is, like, well, no, nah, he couldn't be alive. Because that was 300 he, years yeah. ago. Unless he's a Unless demon. he's a demon, okay. Right. Okay, so he couldn't be alive. As a human, yeah. As a human. Hmm. I mean, I'm standing on my shit. I don't I'm know. They on, just I'm standing on it. I'm standing on that shit. Yeah, I'm standing on it. That that first rank one demon nigga is most likely the same nigga from that dream. Yeah, and, and there's also just the fact that, that their clan looks so so like their clan just already looks massive. No. Yes, they Tom, all. They, have, they do look. No, they all Tom look Chico's mad dad Did not look like Buddy. Buddy. Buddy has a completely different like face structure. He do, but like, but that's just like I'm, they, I'm Tanjiro and Tanjiro's brother. Not like they no, look they, the exact same. Yeah, he just looks younger. Like that's yeah, it. because they're family. They're like, like yeah, they're like, all descendants. Like, but I'm saying that like. Buddy clearly looks exactly like the doll and exactly like the guy from Tanjiro's dream. Like the Coco Chibo looks exactly like that guy. Not not like they do look exactly they, they look aside from like ex- six eyes. Yeah. But like, real the shit, scars bro. line up. If Tanjiro's brother the top was a little scar older, is in the same spot where his like where the demon's top scar is. Like you, when you're saying like the other scar on the other side of his face, the other the demon has the same scar on the top side though. The demon has on, on the top side. He has the exact same scars, buddy. The, 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 uh, that's all I'm. His scar look like, different though. No, they his look scar like go flames. all the way through. His scar go down to his cheek. Hey, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah, look see, at that that's, picture. That's though. the scar all the way down to his cheek. But look at the picture. That's the same nigga. That's a drawing. Well, yeah, it's a drawing. But like, <laughs> like, I could draw. <laughs> but like, they still look similar. You know what I'm saying? I I, they do look similar, but I think that's oh, here we go. This, this is my. Thing. Oh, I think a nigga drew this too. But like, still. Yeah, that's it's the drawing. same nigga. It's the. Be careful looking. Don't. Yeah, I had to type it in by while covering the suggested. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, bro. But nah, I think these niggas side by side, bro. Yoruchi look Yoruchi the same. Or your same jaw structure. Same. They hair fall the same way. That, that don't mean nothing. Yeah, that's him, bro. Nah. But y'all ready to talk about the new episode? Oh, yeah. But yeah, thank yeah. you, Dietrich, for that comment. Uh, because I, I, I do see the other argument. Like, yeah, I'm no, I totally like I understand. I see your argument. Yeah. My backup argument is that them niggas are brothers. But I do believe they're the same nigga. I believe, I I believe that the great swordsman that attacked him... A hundred years ago is the same guy from the dream. Yeah, that that's all I'm standing on. The, the, the that's what I think. Wait, yeah. what? What'd you say? The the swordsman from Tanjiro's dream is Kokushibo. Yeah, yeah. The, that's all I'm saying. No, like, I don't think so. But the sword the swordsman that stood next to him and was like, "Yo, like, yeah, I have failed." Like, whatever. My name saying. does not matter because I have failed when I was supposed to like. Do what I was supposed to do a thousand times, like Buddy. Some shit, I don't yeah, that. I just remember Buddy saying he he's failed multiple times when he was supposed to win. Yeah, I, I I'm a stand on that, but I still got my backup. Nah, I think that they, they might be. Twins, I don't know. Bro. I don't they know if they're be, twins, brothers, they cousins, twins, uncle. Bro. I don't even. I don't know, but I don't think that they're Akimbo. the same person. You say what? Akimbo. What the fuck that mean? It's like when you have dual pistols. Yeah, you know? I was about to say. Yeah, you know. it's Akimbo. Like, yeah, but what did that have? Because twins. twins. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. they might be twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. All right. Um, this episode. Was it a good episode? Yes. Do I care about Mauricio's backstory? Not particularly. I, I yeah, thought it was decent. Yeah, it didn't really add. Uh, it kind of added to the story. It kind of lets you know, like, he's from the same lineage as Tanjiro. But that's what I was about to say. This nigga got the same backstory as everybody. I don't need to see it, bro. Like, 
fucking that's true a lot of them come you know from what i'm that saying bloodline. sonami yeah. and not, not the bloodline but i'm saying sonami and what's his name G- genya. genya they got the same backstory that tanjiro got tanjiro got the same backstory as Murichiro. look i was a little kid i was vibing a demon pulled up and fucked my life up now i'm in a demon slayer core nigga we know what well, that's gonna be that's, we know bro that's gonna be every demon slayer's backstory that's why me. you don't gotta show me i already know bro i guess but everybody's backstory is gonna be like different to an extent, like, yeah, like, 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 so, like, yeah, demons gonna come and fuck up, like, your shit, but, like, that, that's, like, 90%, per- that's everybody, like, that's the whole reason they do anything. That's what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> it just shows, like, why he is how he is to an extent. Like, you kind of gotta know that, I feel like. I do think that, like, randomly throwing in, like, he had a twin brother. <laughs> like, ah, I, I, I mean, I don't ah. know if it had to be a twin, but like the but yeah, brother thing, have, super necessary. I think that was necessary. Uh, that shit would have been hard if it was Yurichiro that lived. So that's what I thought they was doing at the end. Yeah. At oh, the end, oh. I thought it was Yurichiro, and he was just like, he just his took his brother's alias, name yeah. as like some like, yo, I'm gonna carry this shit on. Yeah. Because that's what I thought. That's what I took it as until I realized it's not what's going on. But that shit would have been hard. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, but I th- I think it was still necessary to to know why he is how he is. Not necessary, but a good mm-hmm. anecdote. It, it just kind of feels like is that. What an anecdote is? I think so. A small. <laughs> I thought an anecdote is like a small story to like Uh-oh. give clarification on something. So I think I so. Like mm-hmm. yeah, I no, I never truly knew what that was. Uh, I just thought it was kind of stupid. That it, it essentially was like, oh, Murichiro was exactly the same way as Tanjiro. Like, a kid with a golden heart always wanted to help people, and he was... Yeah, he that's was, what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't need to he, see it. No, no, no. If he was the other brother, it would have made ten times more sense. Yeah, I would have preferred Like, right? That. If he was, like, the nigga who, you can't be chosen, you can't... And, like... But that's like, why he is how he is now. Yeah, but it, it was him just, like, he was already... He was like Tanjiro. Yeah. Was, yeah. So like, w- w- him him talking to Tanjiro really didn't do anything but reminded him of who he was. Yeah. No, that's that, whack. That well, that, that's whack. It's a little I don't know cliche, but like it was still a big part of the story of their story. And like, okay, so this is no hate to this episode, right? Because mm-hmm. this episode of Demon Slayer was it was I, good. No, I love this. Yeah, episode. yeah, I love. Yeah, there's no hate. Episode. This was a very good episode. But if I would have written that episode, right? I would have written it as basically everything went down the way that we saw it. But at the very end, when we watch Yurichiro dying and Murichiro was standing there, they should have switched it. Yurichiro sort of would have been the one to live. Murichiro would have died and he would have taken on his brother's name and been like, yo, because all that yelling about the chosen ones can't do it. If he would have been like, yo, my brother was the chosen one. I'm not. I'm going to have to learn to be more like him and I'm going to do this anyway. I think that would have been a cooler story arc. This one's still perfectly cool, but I think that would have been a cooler little story arc and twist yeah. if it would have been his brother instead of him. Yeah. It would I have see explained that. why he was acting the way he was acting, like cold and all that shit. But then he was having those memories and it would have made more sense why Tanjiro meant so much to him. Because it would have been like, oh shit, Tanjiro is exactly like my brother instead of Tanjiro is exactly like who I've been this whole time. You know? (laughs) Yeah, like that was the only issue. It was like he just reminded you all like this is who I've always been. Yeah. I think it would have been better to be like I'm carrying my brother's name and his will. Right. Like his will was to help others. So when I really heard it reminded me of my mission. Mm-hmm. My mission is to be like Muichiro. Yeah. And yeah. So I think that would have made perfect sense if it was like his it brother like and that's that's what that would have been that would have been cool. The, yeah, yeah, but they just did it where it was like the little brother was randomly oh, killed a demon. <laughs> yeah, but it felt like it would have been cooler the other way. Like, or no, it I, felt like they were doing that for a second when it was Yurichiro talking from like the beyond at the very end of the episode. 
I thought it was Murichiro's inner thoughts, but it was like Yurichiro talking from like the great beyond, being like, Murichiro actually means infinity. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was him thinking that. And he was like, it actually means infinity, so I'm going to be like the infinity. Maybe that is what happened. I don't know, but like that, that shit was confusing. It, was, it, it just brother. felt like it would have been better if he was like the brother that didn't believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that that would have been a cool like plot and twist. He's, even like. Even if it was like his brother was still alive, but one armed and like was a one armed swordsman or some shit, I that would have been, been better fired. if he died. I think the it I carried more weight. Oh no, one armed swordsman wouldn't have hit his arm. The, the yeah. one armed swordsman would have been hard if like yeah. one of them was the one armed swordsman. Man, like that would have. I just would have been too much. It would have been too much. No, I'd fuck with the one armed swordsman, but I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have went this route no matter what. It wouldn't have been like my. Tanjiro, I was Tanjiro Jr. <laughs> like, but Tanjiro Jr. He, that's literally who he yeah, was. He, he was, was Tanjiro Light, and like that yeah. was. It didn't make any sense. Like, I, I love the. I did love this episode. Yeah, but it was I, a good. Episode. I felt like his story could have been a little bit more. That could have ended off a little bit worse. It could have been deeper. I think his story could have just went a little deeper. Would they have just made that? mini switch of making Murichiro Yurichiro. I think that shit would have just been a little bit deeper there. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely see it, but... His face marks look stupid. I don't think so. That shit the look, the that little shit cloud? Look, yeah, that shit look dumb. He's missing. I, I, I didn't mind it. It makes sense. I, I think that shit look dumb. That, look, makes, that makes total sense to like me. like Pikachu. It looks like... Mist. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It wasn't hitting to me. It doesn't look like... Tanjiro's like fire fun. mark. It looks like... Which of those missed? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It looks stupid to me. I think that. Nah, oh, I, I like it. I, I like it. Yeah. I think they could have did it cooler. I don't think. How, like, how else could you really done it? Like, oh, you could have done a like. Clouds. I think it looks like clouds. It doesn't really look like. I don't clouds. like the two They're mini pointy. ones on his cheeks. Like, they do pointy. have like the weird points. I, I, I don't guess. think they should have been pointy. I think they like it should have just been like clouds or something like. It, I get, yeah, I, it could have looked cooler, but I didn't have a problem with the way that it was designed. It looked, it looked normal. I, I wasn't crazy about it. I think it could have looked cooler. Yeah, I do, I do think it could have looked cooler, but at the same time, I was like, this is fine. I, I just thought they can't bite the whole like fire on the fore. I didn't want the mist to be on the forehead, though. You know, you could have no, threw but, that shit on his neck. They could have. You, you it just could have been cooler. Yeah, you could have just had like a cloud formation like pop up on the side of his face. It was just something. Like, yeah. or a couple of clouds. That's what I think he has it on both sides. Yeah, though. but it's just both sides and they're pointy. Like, no. And it is it, smoke like coming from his mouth. That's what it kind of looks like. That's but vaguely, but, like yeah. vaguely though. I think that yeah. that's kind of cool. I fuck with him though. His new sword, gorgeous. Oh yeah, my, the, the, the angle, the angle, better. the like shot they gave you of the sword was so pretty. That blue color was with the like oh gold my hilt. God. That was fire. Yeah, the little hilt. He that might have taken the cake for the best looking sword in Demon Slayer so far. I gotta see what uh, Mitsuri's like f- sword fully looks like because I like the curve of it. It looks dope. It looks uh, like a. It's a little too much for me for my taste. Just like the whip. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I were to like buy one today to like hang up on the wall, I would pick Muichiro's. He got the coldest sword. Yeah, his sword is definitely the coldest. I think I like Zenitsu's the most out of anybody's. Zenitsu's is cool too, but Murichiro's sword is just gorgeous. The, the demon destroyer carved into it? That's fire. fire. Yeah, that, yeah, is, that fire. is fire. I destroyer of really demons. The, yeah. the color was just so... Yeah, that color is It was gas. perfect, bro. That is super fire. Perfect. Yeah, I fuck with that shit heavy. Yeah, that is With the light sword. shining off it, it's just yeah. that light blue. That's, yeah. that's gas. And the gold contrast is just like perfect. Gorgeous. That shit was gorgeous. Uh, does Mauricio have to die now? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like he might have to die now. That was, a, you just walked into it. Cause I <laughs> like, feel like he, like he's Tandro. So like we can't have two Tandro. So, but they just have, now. they're just not important to the story. I don't know. I feel like he yeah, might have to they, die now. They should hit him with a little neji. Nah, he can't die. I don't want everyone. No, you to... gotta, you gotta hit him with a neji. That's that's death. Yeah. Right, hit him with but a, look, a but rock leaf. Not right something. now. Like, not right now, though. Like you, neji. Nah, nah, neji. Nah. 
You know, it's going to like, there's gonna not, be some, yeah. there's going to be some nudgy shit with that guy, but like, I hope not. Honestly, I hope they, he stays enlisted as a demon slayer. Like that would be Oh better. yeah, he's gonna like, what, why would he, why would he stop? I mean, Rengoku died. Uzui quit. Yeah, the, well, like, Rengoku wasn't going to stop. He just died. Yeah, but I'm hoping the he other doesn't guy, die. The other guy was just, Tengen was just like, he just was, like, it, bro. He, yeah, he was only in it for the glory and the money. Yeah, so I mean, I'm hoping that yeah, the, Muichiro just stays. Muichiro, and, you just watch the whole story. He's, clearly, he's in it just to help niggas. He's well, yeah, which one. would be a good reason to stay. Like, you know. Yeah, but I don't think he's he just going to dip. He might get blinded or some shit. I still don't think you would dip. How the fuck? Blind swordsman. I was about to say, that's a... <laughs> and he got the smoke, nigga might be able to feel through the smoke. Ooh, that's nah, just what over. it is. That's over. Uh, So wait, did Murichiro just kill the upper five? The, um... Is he dead? We don't, like, it ended off with him slashing no. him? No. You don't no. think he's dead? No way. Yeah. We've seen him walk around Wait, without a What episode is this huh? in the season? No, I'm thinking of Yoko. <laughs> like, That's upper three or something. So, oh, we got it wrong before. The upper five is vase. Four is uh, emotion. Oh, that, that's oh, what I okay. thought. I, I no, thought, last week we no, said it the other way. Yeah, I, did, uh, I thought I went for the, uh, I was like, I thought it was the other way because Vase Buddy did not seem stronger than four. Like, yeah, but I, I, that's what we said. Like, yeah, I like, thought we knew that. You're saying that Yoko is stronger than Vase, I mean, it's stronger than Emotion Buddy. Vase Buddy is stronger than. Him. No. No, it's the other way. It's the other way. Oh. Emotion Buddy is four, Vase Dude is five. Yeah, because oh. that's what I asked last week. I was like, "Yo, oh, you I asked got, that? Oh. yeah," because I thought I was like, "Yeah, the the beast nigga seems way more." I was like, "Why? How is that five? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I, yeah, like, was five? I don't remember how the conversation went, but like four people were like, "Nah, you was wrong." Oh, I thought the vase buddy was stronger. Yeah, no, nah, it's the other way. Hell wow. no. Do you see what? Do you see the cast of people fighting the other guy? It's hard to tell <laughs> who's strong. Is no, like but the I'm demons. saying like, do you see the cast? Like, it, why would they put the cast against number five and then just? Because I thought they were gonna beat number five and then have to deal with the next stronger one. Jump them together, huh? Jump him together. Jumping number the, uh, the hatred dude. Yeah, but he's four. Yeah. I thought they were gonna finish hatred, dude, and then they were gonna have to deal with uh yeah, but, face nah. buddy. Yeah, because that's going down though. Yeah, that would be defeating four and then five, where I was saying five is gonna get defeated, which is vase buddy, and then mm. four is gonna be four has been a problem this full time and we still don't know how to beat him. Like we've I, tried I think they could cut his head now that they're all combined, right? Probably. Um yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That Why would sense. he ever fully combine? I just because you're still going to die if they didn't. Yeah. No. yeah, well, yeah, it was up, and then he because you remember Tandro was hitting his neck, and bro was like, "Hold on, bro." So he yeah, he stopped yeah. it. Yeah, and then got the little doom, yeah, the little drums and shit. Yeah, shit, this is a good ass. When a demon got the drum or an instrument, bro, is so clip for you. Oh yeah, you're, no. <laughs> you're gonna die. I mean, that cool. other dude was pretty mid, like the the oh, dude yeah. from the show where he just wet. had the yeah. He was like he was a uh, Infinity Castle. He was Diet Infinity Castle. Yeah, kind of sort of. And then yeah, we just flip the room. And, yeah, he wasn't that lit. Yeah, that nigga was yeah, Diet Infinity he, Castle. He only sucked because he was. He was using He was like a back. false uh upper moon or something like that. No, he used to be one or some shit. Oh. Cuz I know Rui was like the same thing. Oh too, no, he right? used to be one. He used to be one. That nigga was whack to me. Rui he was different. The spider nigga? Yeah. He was kind of whack to me. No, he was different, bro. That's that's when they had to use Hinokami. He ain't had to though. He had to. Uh, he had Hinokami to. didn't even do it. Nezuko had the lightest sword on fire too. Yeah, exploding blood is hard. Yeah, that's, that is that's hard. a hard ass technique. I do like that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that shit go crazy. How, so, a lot of people on Twitter, uh, TikTok, Instagram have been saying that season three of Demon Slayer isn't hitting. They've been saying season two was way better than season three. Do y'all agree with that? Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. You fuck with season two more than three? As of right now, yeah. I don't think it's bad, but I like season two more. I think I'm fucking with three more. Yeah, I think I was fucking with three more, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to go, like, season two, 
the ending of season two had better action for sure. But I think the story and emotion feels a little bit more. I don't know. I feel I've, I've felt a little bit more. I feel like we've just gotten more out of the characters in, in the entertainment district in season two. See, I disagree with you. I didn't feel anything watching season two. I feel a little bit watching season. I'm not really saying that any of it is that emo. Like I don't feel much, but I think we got more in the entertainment. Yeah, but I was completely like every single time we would bring up Demon Slayer, I'll be like, yeah, it's a little, it's overrated. I would say that every single time. I agree. And then I brought up this season. I was like, damn, like this is the first time I'm really feeling Demon Slayer is even doing anything. Right. Yeah. So I, I'm been standing on this side the full time i'm fucking with season three yeah i think i think i got if i'm ranking the demon slayer seasons i'm gonna go three two one i think i go two three one yeah hmm. i'll go three two one and yeah. that's also including the movie too because season two was part of that right oh yeah which movie the, the, the one that i the movie train well i hated them both but oh yeah 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 i, I think uh, yeah, season. Oh, two. if we had Mugen Train, yeah, yeah, no, this shit way better. Mugen Train was ass. Well, it, the Akaza fight was decent. That's but it. That's I think I would have. I think yeah. I would have liked it if I didn't see the movie. I think I would have liked it if it came out episodically. I think I might have too, actually. Yeah, I might have. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I I would have to stand on that. I probably would have thought about it relatively the same. I'm, I might have liked it more. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm spread almost out through positive weeks, I would have liked it more. I hate I don't dream know how episodes. Much. I hate dream episodes. What's another I, anime that you saw one? What? Where where the you dream. see people Are going we living to... living in a dream? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying okay. to think about... Uh, there's there's to. characters in One Piece who get put in... Like, who will put you in a dream. And there's characters in JoJo who will put you in a dream. Oh. And I hate dream episodes. I hate that. That One Piece uh, movie was kind of... Did you see it? No. Oh. Yeah. It, it, it was further than me in the story. I can't. I thought No, I thought you were all caught up. Mm, I wasn't caught up when that dropped. It's so can, It's not can, It's not a canon movie. Though. Yeah, but it was further in the story than yeah, where I canon, was. So it don't matter. Yeah, but it, it would make references to parts in the story that I wasn't at. I guess. So, like, I wasn't, yeah, movie, I wasn't even going That might have been the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> that movie. And was, I haven't watched one of these. Like, <laughs> that movie was that. That might have been the worst movie. It I, seemed worst like anime movie I've they, ever seen. The, the moment I saw that it was just, like, they were singing... I was like, yeah, this is not One Piece for real. They don't do this. Bro, no, the songs asleep. were hitting, though. I, I fell asleep like three the, times. Like, it was I, just I, I fell asleep so bad. bad. Yeah. Not even bad. What was bad and boring? Like, it was not it. Yeah, that shit wasn't for me. I'm yeah. also not a One Piece fan. so And just not understanding it made it worse. Yeah, I know they, that, I don't, that shit made it I don't ass. know if I'm spoiling anything. If I, I'm not even going to say No, no, stuff. go ahead. I'm caught up now. So Yeah, but I don't want to spoil stuff for other people. I don't. I mean, it's been out for a yeah. year. Oh, cause like Shanks pulled up and I guess that was his daughter. Like, I didn't know. Yeah, that's not a spoiler. They said that in the trailer. Oh, well, yeah. I, I didn't know. But uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know who Shanks is. I don't know who the daughter is. Well, Why do I give a fuck? Oh, the, like, if you don't know who Shanks is, then I, you, you ain't watching. Yeah, I'm like, I haven't watched any yeah. of it. So, like, yeah, that means Shanks is literally like, you meet Shanks like episode one. He's nah, literally yeah. like, he's the reason why Luffy wants to be a pirate. Yeah, he gave Luffy the hat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He's, he yeah. said, when you become a great pirate, come and give this back to me. And he just put the hat on him. And That seems like yeah. a better connection than him and the, the daughter. Like, I didn't even understand why they had to, I guess they had to introduce it, but it just didn't seem like shit. It's ganging them. I guess. It's yeah. ganging them. But, but yeah, that no, movie was not it. The Demon Slayer was, it was, this episode was cool, and I'm fucking with season three more than season two, personally. I like season two, but this has, it's only halfway through? So, is, is he's, sm- was that, what is the name of his, like, new, uh, breathing style? Who? Muichido. When he, like, pull, when he pulled it out and he turned, like, gray. Was that, was that just normal, or was I, that? I didn't think it was a I new thought that, style. I thought that it's was still new. still breathing. I oh, the, okay. I thought it was. I, I thought it was something new because, like, he said, mis- I'm almost positive it's still misread. Yeah, but I thought it was something else. And like, when he, uh, it could very well. The, he like the demon shit came out. The demon slayer mark came out. 
it was like you never see somebody pull out the Demon Slayer mark and they're not doing something based. But I mean, I th- we've only I seen one it- other person bust out Demon Slayer mark for real. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's doing some shit with it. Exactly. Yeah, but it like, could have been something new. Maybe I wasn't paying. Yeah, attention. like I don't know if I was paying attention and was because I thought it said something about like smoke or something like that. But like it I could don't, have. Yeah, I was like, like it. Remember. It could have. I think it was just misreading. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, what y'all want to handle next? Uh, it's a lot of heat that came out, bro. Uh, there was no new House Paradise this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something happened in Japan. I think they had some type of natural. I just remember they, it said the next episode is. Yeah, this next week. week. I think they had a natural disaster in some type of Maybe, that. Yeah. Well, prayers go out to all the people of Japan. If that's even what happened, I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, good prayers can just go up for whatever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. Um, <sighs> Vinland or Heavenly Delusion. You could do Vinland. Shit, this Vinland shit. Thank God, Arnhide is dead, bro. Dang, man, I was so tired of her ass, man. Dang, I was so tired of Arnhide fading in and out, nigga. Y'all trying to put me through that garter shit again? No, mm. it's up. No, okay, but like, okay. Yes, I'm very glad Arnhide is dead. I'm glad she's not here no more. Right. I felt kind of bad, but like it wasn't like a normal anime death where like I I didn't feel bad. I was like, dang, that sucks. No, I didn't feel bad at all. I was excited. Um, but what the fuck was the point of not killing her two episodes ago? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, they could have they could have killed her earlier. Gardar talking about nah, you can't come over here yet. You can't come over to the dead side yet. You got shit to handle. She did yeah, nothing. She didn't do anything. She, she was just woke dead up, for like said thank episodes. you, Thorfinn and Anar, and then died. Yeah, she really didn't do anything. She was unconscious for like a full episode and then said thank you. Yeah, and she should just died then. She could have died earlier. True. Yeah, True. it's a waste of time. True. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Yeah, don't bring characters back if you're not going to do nothing with them. Yeah. She could have just died there. That would have been fine. I do agree with that. I mean, it would have turned Anar up a little early, I guess, but. I don't know. Mm. I just don't think that was necessary. Yeah, it didn't feel necessary. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I don't. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Shout out to Arnheim being dead though. It still suck. I don't yeah, know. I don't give a fuck. Hey, my boy, uh, Thorgil. That nigga. Dude. I didn't really. I didn't really like him. In the, I didn't really dislike him. But I didn't like him. He the goat. Like I actually rock with Thorgil. He the goat. He's actually okay. Clearly not the goat. But he's actually a lot cooler than I thought he was. Hey, that nigga was sneak attacking niggas. Bro, he was actually fucking them up. <laughs> that nigga's a demon. I like Thorgo. He, nah, he not the best warrior. Snake, my probably the best warrior out there. But what? Yeah. Huh? Snake. He's better than Thorfinn. Thorfinn. Yes. I mean, no. Thorfinn is a better, but like, I'm not counting him as a warrior. Thorkill. Out there on the field right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. I yeah, see what yeah, you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Because I'm like, what the fuck, Floki? Yeah. Floki lit. He a Yams Viking. We ain't seen him do nothing. But he a Yams Viking, and them Yams Viking niggas are different. I don't give a crap. He was flexing them Yams Viking. Who? Snake. He didn't flex. That nigga been scared the whole time. He bodied like two of them. Everybody else was getting washed. Did he body too, though? Yeah. I don't know if I'll say body. Him and Thorgil have been the only people putting in work. Only people. Nah, Thorgil put in work. He was the, he was MVP. That nigga almost killed the king. Yeah, like he definitely. If that nigga would have had shit. quieter footsteps, Bro, he would have killed the tweaked king. Tweaked out. <laughs> he, like was, he was too loud. <laughs> If he was just a little bit quieter, it would have been up That nigga him. crunched his sword and broke his wrist. Bro. So, uh, boom. Yeah. Nigga I was mean, like, is my wrist broke? Crunched You him. You want to fight. Yeah, he's he's kind of ridiculous. If you break a nigga wrist from them blocking, you won. I mean, when you get jumped, not much you can do. Yeah, that nigga got jumped. Like, what the fuck? Stabbed through his hand. Can't hold the sword. Like They really put that bitch right through his wrist, though. Yeah, you can't really do much like that. It's over. Much. Huh? You see, they can't, you can't do much? You can't do much, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Can't do nothing. Yeah, he put, they put that shit through his wrist. That nigga put his finger in his eye and threw that nigga off of him by his eye. He yeah. said, huh? 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, what do you, you gotta do? be a monster. No, he is a monster. Yeah, he's, yeah, he, he, he a demon. But, he not, he not snake. I guess. I guess. If Thorfinn was really turning up, I don't even, I don't even know. You think, we haven't seen him fight for, like, he was flexing all snake a little bit. They're pretty evenly matched, like I think right now. You think Thorfinn versus Snake all out? It's even a contest as of right now. Yeah. No, Thorfinn is Thorfinn ain't fought in forever. Thorfinn is beating the brakes off of him. No, that nigga, that nigga Snake was scared when Thorfinn was fighting with his fists. If that nigga would have had his fucking knives, there's literally no contest. Okay, yeah, that's kind of true. I think he would probably win in a fight. It was damn near a tie with a nigga with a whole broadsword. Versus a nigga with hands. I think if Thorfinn that, is better. Thorfinn is better indefinitely. I don't know by how much. Thorfinn, bro, this nigga Thorfinn looked Leaf Erison in the eyes. Leaf was like, hey, bro, don't go. He said, hey, bro, they got a hundred niggas over there. So even worst case scenario, I'm coming back. Damn. Nigga, that was the bar of the century. Bro, because he didn't even say it like a flex. He was like genuinely like. Yeah. He said the king probably brought around a hundred people. So. If thing hit, if shit hit the fan, I'll be good. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's that fine. nigga said one verse a hundred. I ain't fought in years, and these niggas can't touch me, bro. These niggas can't hang with me. Yeah, nah, that is kind of crazy. He is different. Like Dorf what the fuck are you supposed to do to that? Been a demon. Dang, yeah, I guess he do really still got skills even after a couple of years. Like, and he you still know like what's crazy? That. He said all that don't got no weapons. Yeah, that nigga said that shit with his bare hands. Yeah, damn, I wonder where those daggers are. They somewhere. Yeah, he, he gotta have him. He gotta have him. His he gotta have one. Yeah, yeah I don't know about the one he picked dagger. up off the soldier, but he gotta have one. Yeah, he has his dad's dagger. Yeah, there's no way he doesn't. <sighs> Bro, this shit. This is good. Are they actually about to find Vinland? Like for real? Well, it's Vinland Saga. But like all of them, like I don't know if they all about to make that. They not making that journey to Vinland. Yeah, that, yeah, they they are. Thorfinn might be the only person to make it. Thorfinn's not a sailor, so somebody got to take okay. it. <laughs> like, I'm basically saying, Anar ain't making it. <laughs> like, Oh, you think Anar gonna die? Anar's not making it. By the end of this series, Anar's done. You don't think Anar's feet gonna touch the villain no. soil? No. No way. Anar's feet are gonna touch the villain soil. No way. No way. Nah, they will. Not only skill wise does he suck, story wise he not making it. Skill wise he is not lit. I like him. He's a cool character. If shit hit the fan, it's up. Like if Thorfinn is not protecting you, it's up. He's not a weakling. He a big nigga, bro. He's not a weakling. But if they're gonna teach him how to fight, not well enough to fight these like Yom's soldiers. Anar is. A big nigga, bro. He a big dude. Taking a sword a good couple times? GG. Yeah, but he not... Thorfinn gonna teach him a little something. Because what'd he say? What'd he say to him? He said there's a trick to getting punched. True. Now, taking a hundred punches from that big body nigga? Bro, he about to smoke him. I know he's gonna live through it and probably be alright, but he's about to smoke him. Because he... I don't think they're gonna finesse it for real. He's going to take these honey punches, I think. Yeah, what they call that nigga? Barrett the Bear Killer? Yeah, yeah right. I'm, the second that nigga yelled his name, I'd be like, hey, actually, uh, I'm cool, bro. Yeah, he's going to... Yeah. I don't even need to talk to the king like that. I wonder what's actually about to happen. And then Canute a bitch, bro. We knew that, but I forgot how. Because nigga said, hey, Thorfinn, son of Thor's is here. He said, <gasps> yeah, I don't need to talk to that nigga. I was like, damn, bro. Like, Yeah. That's your man's. Not for real. Not no more. You only alive because you could say hello. No. Why can't he say hello? I'm not rocking with him. Why? First off, the only scar on my face is because of you, big dog. Is that what happened? That's what it looked like. (laughs) No, I think Thorfinn saved him. Why did he, uh, like... Yeah. Because he he said Thorfinn, he was like... (gasps) And touched the scar. If I remember correctly... That nigga was about to get hit with, like, a spear or something, and Thorfinn saved him. Oh. If I remember correctly. Oh, because I was wondering, like, dang, I do not remember him cutting him. He was like, Thorfinn want to talk to you. 
I'm like, what is this? Oh, <laughs> actually, hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it. Canute killed uh, Oscalot. Yeah. And Thorfinn was pissed about it. Oh, and that's why he cut him? And I don't know if that's what he... But the, remember, the last thing Canute saw was Thorfinn like, You bitch! Yeah. Nigga, I'll kill you, bro! Get Tweak these niggas off of me, man! Yeah. So I, I kind of feel him now. That's possible, yeah. Because he don't know new Thorfinn. Yeah. So this nigga probably thinks that Thorfinn tracked him across the world <laughs> Just to, to get him. his get back. Yeah. Because all he knew about Thorfinn was all this nigga wants in life is to it's, kill Askeladd. Yeah. And this nigga traveled across the world to do it. Yeah. So he probably like yeah, he still thinks finding out that this demon. nigga is here. He's probably like Fuck, he's going I'm to the kill new Askeladd. Yeah. yeah. He probably like this nigga traveled across the world to murder me. Yeah. Dang. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that might make At sense. At first, yeah. I was like, he a bitch because that's your homie. But nah, that's... if When you really think about it, he probably like... He, yeah, he's nigga, trying to kill me. That was his whole... Kill that me. was the whole thing for season one. <laughs> like, yeah. You killed dog. Now I'm going to track you around the world and kill you. So, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I take it back. Yeah. I fuck with Omar, though. No. I don't hate him, but no. What he do wrong? <laughs> Dang. He ain't do nothing wrong. We, they need to retreat. But like, he made every correct decision. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I like the stupid confidence. <laughs> Thorgil was like, "We're not backing down." Yeah, it's Thorgil was toes. ready to die. About we're his. going to die. You know, Thorgil went to go join uh, Canute again, right? That's possible. No, that's where that nigga went. That nigga just trying to fight. And Canute said. Canoe said, damn that nigga bold. I wish he would join me again. And now that nigga mm. going back to join. Cause that nigga said, we're retreating. He said, nigga, I'm out. Who the fuck out my way, nigga? I that nigga went it. to go fight. I he about to be that. like, hey, Canute, these niggas are some bitches. Let me get some smoke. Where, I ain't bitch made. Where there's some smoke, I'll pull up. Yeah, probably. That's what he's, that's the goal. Probably. That's what he's there for. Dang, somebody about to, somebody important about to die. Who? I don't know, but Thorgil about to kill some damn Almar. I actually wouldn't care, but couldn't care less. Yeah, somebody in like the large cast is gonna die. Thorgil got to kill him. It's probably gonna be Almar now. Um, he might kill the old master. Thorgil might. <laughs> like he the type to actually. He might kill the old master. He might. Or maybe Big Kettle. Isn't he already in, like super injured? Yeah, that nigga, he down. Yeah, he dead, <laughs> like he's he already super injured. He ain't dead, but he is down. It's possible that he just pull up and kill Buddy on his deathbed, basically. But I don't know. I think he gotta like fight somebody. He not the type of he is, but he would rather like pull up and fight somebody. He just gonna kill. He don't care how. I think I think he's probably about to go kill. That Omar. nigga would kill women, children, whoever, bro. Yeah, that is true. That nigga just want to kill. That's all he... His goal in life is killing niggas. Yeah. yeah Yo, but... I heard the coldest insult ever. Uh, this is off topic. Uh, but Dub, DDG's brother, and I guess a nigga named Chris Sales. Does anybody know who that is? I've heard the name before, I think. I guess he's another YouTuber. And bro had this Dub. Dub... <laughs> this nigga Dub was on live, and he said... He said, nigga, if you, he said, I'm a leave shit for my family. He said, I'm up right now. Like I'm building an empire. You don't have shit. He said, nigga, all you doing right now is waiting to die. He said, that's all you got <laughs> to look for. He said, you wake up every morning and you just waiting to die, nigga. That's a crazy insult. I ain't never heard a nigga look that somebody eyes be like, Hey bro, all you doing right now is just waiting to die for real. You ain't got shit to live for. Waiting to die. Nigga, you just waking up every morning and waiting to die. That's the goal. <laughs> that that would hurt is, me. That is crazy. Now, hey, hey, bro. You, hey, I'm going to keep it steady. You waiting to die. Just bro. waiting to die, bro. That's you all you're here up. for. You're not doing shit. He said, nigga, you're waiting to die. This nigga Dub was out of pocket that whole time he was cooking that nigga. He finished cooking him and was like, hey, I hope I said some shit to make you pull up on me, nigga. He <laughs> said, I hope I said yeah. something so egregious. That you gonna have to pull up on me. Waiting to die. Might have been that. <laughs> nah, I gotta pull up now. <laughs> yeah, Dub. His Pontiac came out. He's from Pontiac. That's a place. Not I was about to say, like, car. the car? Yeah. I was like, it came out. What you mean? He's from Pontiac, Michigan. Uh, and apparently, there's demons over there. Uh, 
allegedly. I, I ain't never been to Pontiac, and I ain't never going. But that sound like a place where hey, where they would be. What the demons? Yeah, yeah. Well, Dub he been in two murder cases, so oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, Dub's a demon. But yeah, nah. Uh, this episode of Vinland Saga was fire though. Or yeah. these last two episodes. Yeah, that shit yeah. Was some heat. That shit is fire. Somebody gonna die soon. Definitely. Maybe even next episode. Because I think we got to see. Next episode? I think we got to see Buddy pull up. What's his name? Thorgill. We got to see Thorgill. Next episode. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be a little bit till we see Thorgill again. We might not see Thorgill for the rest of the season. Nah, nah. I think we got to see him again. I guess we'll see. Coming up soon. I guess we'll see. Um, Depending on if they retreat or not. If they retreat, like, just leave out... Nah, they couldn't do that. They well, either way, the, the farm's getting requisitioned. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's over with. That shit getting requisitioned. Man. That's a hard word to say for me. I don't know why. I could I could see it. Say it. Requisition. Yeah, see, it's a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could. Re- Another one that was getting me is uh, Yurichi, though. That shit is tough. Who is Yurichi, though? Muichiro's brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yurichiro is tough. Yurichiro. Eh, I think that one's decent. Uh, I don't know. That one's all right. Yeah. Um, Dr. Stone? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we got two episodes because we didn't talk about Dr. Stone last week. Um, the first episode was when we found out. Well, we already knew Suika was good. Am I pronouncing that right? Kind of. I right. say Suika. Suika? Yeah. That, yeah. Sounds, that sounds better. That sounds more Japanese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Suika. And uh, we found out Ginro is the one that's uh, up. I think any other person would have been more useful than Ginra. Yeah. I don't think... Uh, let me think. Is there a single person on that boat no. that I think would have been worse than Ginra? They went through everybody, and I'm like, no. That, that was the worst person. Yeah, I think that was worst case scenario. Yeah. Taiju would have been fire. Yeah, all of them would have been way better. I would have took the evil Francois niggas. better. Like The evil niggas would have been worse than Ginra. The two evil niggas on the uh, boat. The nigga with the little twisty oh. dagger and then the acrobat girl. Yeah, I guess that would have been worse. Yeah. That would have been worse. Those are the only two people. Anybody um, else would have been better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Taiju would have been better. Uh, big body, Chrom, not Chrome. The big body would have been better. I wish it was Chrome, bro. If it was Chrome, he would have been set. I'm not going to lie. I almost cried when they pushed his uh, statue over and that bitch broke. For a second, I was like, dang, they just killed him. And I was like, oh, no, he's good. No, yeah, they're not dead. Yeah. But they broken into pieces. So they're going to have to piece them back together and hit him with the revival fluid. That shit kind of hurt when Ginro was talking to Kinro and he was like, come on, man, like. Get up! Why are you why are you not moving? And he tried to put his statue on his back. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of felt bad, but I was like, I felt more good than bad because I mean, what? like, Game Roll was fucking with him. He was like, Nah, bro, you got it. Like, it don't even matter. I mean, that's his brother. You gotta fuck with him. But like, you know I mean, yeah. But it hurt that that nigga don't got his brother. Yeah, that did suck. But I was like, like that's gang. Like he Ginro, knew everything was gonna be okay, and I was like, that's he fine. He didn't know that. He didn't even know Senku was good. No, nah, Game Roll knew everything was gonna be okay. No. Ginro didn't know Senku was good yet. Wait, who, which one is Ginro? Which one's Kinro? Ginro's the one that's up. Kinro's the one that's rock. Gin, oh, that's petrified. Kinro. Kinro knew everything was good. No, he didn't. Kinro literally said, I don't know everything's good. Nah, he was like, yeah, but he was like, nah, but I have faith in Buddy. He, I, I got faith in Kinro. Yeah, he said, I don't know everything's good, but I got faith in him. Okay, well, that was lit. I was fucking with that. Because everybody else was like, oh, who's left? Damn, we're up. It's over with. He was like, nah, he got it. And I was like, oh, he he lit for that. Yeah. Nobody else thought he was getting it done. And he probably wouldn't without Suika. But was she to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the petrification beam. It's a like a ball. This one, I think there's multiple. The one that petrified the earth is not that little piece of Oh no. Yeah. No, no chance. But it's the uh yeah. the mini one, and you just throw that bitch. And they petrify, and you pull that and shit you back. Just pull it back, yeah. Why she get it? Maybe she was just the most accurate. I don't know. It don't seem like it. She done failed a couple times. Nah, other dude just clutched up though. Like the dude with the bow. They, oh yeah, no. Nah, he that, saved that boy. Hit the. He just saved all their lives. Like it would have been up. I got a theory. I think that what's his name? The uh, 
the one that be with the evil girl. The evil girl and the evil guy. His name's like mm, some with an M. Oh, the guy with the swirly eyebrows and the stuff? Strongest, Maz? The Maz. Yeah, yeah, him. I think he saved Amaryllis on purpose. Um, Because she went to go. She was swinging that bitch, right? She yeah. was in the... And he said, that's a low angle. Throw it one head higher. Oh, yeah. So then she threw that bitch higher... And the petrification beam got everybody. It, it kind of got Amaryllis, and she ripped that shit off. But I feel like he said that for a reason. That's possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like he... Because first off, you remember, his whole thing is he just like cute girls. That's yeah. his whole shit in life. He's like, yo, my only goal in this bitch is to get cute girls. Yeah. And he said, I'm so strong that I don't really got to worry about nothing else. Niggas ain't going to press me. That's facts. I'm just trying to find some cute girls. Yeah. That is true. He probably did save her. He probably did. Because why else would he have said aim one head higher? Yeah. I, I think he had a reason for doing that. Yeah, um, yeah, you're probably right. He he must have been trying to save her for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't but, know why yet, but... But yeah, he's definitely trying to save her. Good yeah. just because, like, maybe he just likes her. I don't know. But, but yeah, yeah, that's probably part of the reason why. Yeah, but he definitely tried to save her. Yeah, they got the... That's not the steam gorilla, but it's the... Nah, I don't know what that is. It's the lab, but they made a mobile lab, but oh. they put it in basically a steam gorilla. Oh, that's kind of dope. Yeah. I kinda well, no, it's not that. steam. It's... I think uh, it runs on gas. Oh, is it gas? Probably. I mean, they got gas now. It wouldn't make sense not to make it gas. Why did they have... Oh, because it's a lab. Dumb, I'm tweaking. Yeah. I was about to say, why did they have the sulfur and stuff in there already? Yeah, that's the moving laboratory. Yeah. Because Senku's like, yo, we gonna need this shit when we get on the ground, so I'm gonna make a moving lab that I could drive out that bitch, and we lit. Yeah. Genius. Yeah, so no, that's not, I don't think that's the steam gorilla. I think that's a totally, di- totally different thing. Man, fuck that bum-ass old man that's like, this shit is half a pinky moved. I really wanted to beat the shit out of him. Nigga, he was right. Nigga, you're doing the most. He bodied it. He was in there. But you doing the most, bro. He was right. <laughs> he made a big ass commotion about that shit being moved half a pinky. He was right. <laughs> Why is this shit move I, half a pinky? We're on a fucking boat, bro. Shit rock. Bro, when when he said that, I was like, damn, that's crazy. But G, good job. No, fuck <laughs> like, you. No, bro. He, Nigga, mind your own business. He bodied that. Like, he absolutely killed that. I if that. Suika didn't save them, bro, it would have been over for Ginro. Or Kinro. No, Ginro. Ginro. It would have been over with. Ginro is the small one. Kinro is the big one. Uh, I always just think Ginro because he's the cooler one. But, yeah. Boy, Ginro sounds no. cooler than Kinro? Kinro is the cool one because he's the one with the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the cool one. Yeah, I always think cool one first. Second one, second. Oh, because they call him Ginro and Kinro. Yeah. Yeah, they do call him Ginro and Kinro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like the cool one should go first. You're right. Yeah, this is more Are they twins? Too. I don't think so. So, Kinro is older than Kinro. I believe so. Okay. Word. Yeah. So, something I didn't like. Or not I didn't like, but it just kind of felt extra. Kahako's not ugly. No. Yeah. They did the most. Like, they was doing the most talk about. She's like, you know strong <laughs> so like but going the extra with the makeup and the hair like throwing a dress on her would have been perfectly fine yeah i agree i like, agree they was like Ugh, kohaku yeah. would never get picked yeah this is gonna be an impossible mission i was looking like i think they literally really just did that because she's like super strong and athletic Bro, basically my ear keeps tickling my nose and she's so ass yeah but i think that's the only reason she would have been perfectly fine if they would have just thrown a dress on her and been cool yeah I, it was just to the fact that it felt unrealistic like not like i even give a fuck about kohako like i was like why are they insulting her but yeah, i was just nah. like this it was just unrealistic, feel unrealistic. like yeah because her and her and her sister aren't twins they might as well be. Yeah, they look the exact yeah, same. They might as well be. And everybody be. was like, oh my gosh, she looks so much like her sister now. They already look Hold the same. Hold on, let me look up a picture of her sister. They look the her exact same. Her sister looks and I was like, exactly like her different yeah, hair. The color. second they straightened her hair, they were like, oh, she looks like her sister. She looks so good. But even she without the that, same. like, yeah. she looks the exact Even without the normal. hair straightened, they look the fucking same. Yeah, she looks fine with the regular ponytail. Like, all they had to do were, was change her clothes. Nigga, this is Kohaku. Like, this might as yeah. well be Kohaku, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they honestly, if she threw on a ponytail, she'd be Kohaku. 
Yeah, like I, I, I just thought they were doing the absolute most. Bro. Yeah, they did the most. They did the most. But yeah, bro, side by side, they're the same motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's stupid. Yeah, they definitely did the most, yeah. but they talk about some. We need to work so hard to make to make Kohaku look pretty, so that way she can get picked. She could. They literally could have put her there exactly as she looked, and she still probably no. would have got picked. No. How would she have not? She would have at least needed to like throw on some makeup and a dress. I don't. Th- okay, a dress, yeah, but I don't yeah. think she needed makeup. She look. They said her sister is gorgeous. They have the same. That's face. true. Yeah. Their face looks the exact same. Yeah, that is true. Like she, the only difference between Kohaku and her sister is her hair's in a ponytail. Yeah, yeah, they do look like twins. Yeah, if her hair wasn't in a ponytail, it would be the exact same. Yeah, that is facts. Yeah, that shit was stupid. But it was actually a pretty smart idea to get all of them to do it, because I mean, ups the chances. It's better. But they didn't do all of them. They only did. Uh, Ginro. Oh yeah, they only did Ginro, which was stupid. That was not stupid. Gen? Gen could have done it. Gen could have won. The mentalist, bro? Excuse me? Oh, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. But and like, he said, yo, a pretty girl challenge. That nigga again. No, I'm telling you. It was him, bro. That nigga again was pretty as fuck. Nah, you that's, was bugging. That's not what I meant. Now nah, you was a little too passionate. If they made him look enough like he a said, girl, damn, Gen was sexy. Mean? If they made him to look enough like a girl, a mentalist would have been the best person for the job. How? Because I can convince you to pick me. By being pretty? That's, it was just a pretty competition. But it was also, like, the things that they like and all that stuff. I don't. I think that was arbitrary. Yeah. I don't know. I think Gen could have could have his way through that. He said he was looking that. for one thing. Yeah, he said cute girl competition. I guess, yeah. But I don't know. I feel like if, if there's any type of competition, like, that involves smarts, and I guess it didn't involve. Well, they said Gen can't do fruit. it because Gen was tall as fuck. Oh, they did say that. Like, that that don't matter. It do. Isn't that like preferred in most like beauty contests? Tall women, no, no. Oh, it's not. No. no. Well, yes, but in like a mo- like models are supposed to be tall, which I don't know why. I don't. I don't even think they're like like tall is like five. Like no, ten. models. The taller you are, the better. Yeah, yeah. but but even then, it's like five ten. It's, but, it's not like six. You're you're like six foot. They're they're. they're they but I don't think Gen is like. But I feel that like if you're tall. modeling like women's clothes, right? Wouldn't you want a model that is the same height as the average woman, not a tall woman? Yeah, yeah that, that's what I would think. Yeah, probably. Because when I, if I were to see a model, right, I would want to to find a model that looks the closest to me. Yeah. So that way, I would know it how the clothes normal, are gonna look on, on me. Yeah, the clothes look normal. Like, yeah. Yeah, like I wouldn't. If I was going to a fashion show and I saw a nigga walking with a fit that I like, but he was only he's four foot two. Hell, yeah, or the yeah. nigga swole. It's not going to look like that on me. Yeah. So I kind of want to think, I'm going to be looking, I'm like, uh, what's that shit going to look like on me? Yeah, that is true. I think that would make a lot more sense. I'm, I'm imagining, like, it's just like a big swole ass dude in a suit. Like, he looks <laughs> like the fucking Hulk. Yeah, you know, like, I like it's, this. Yeah, like, I got to <laughs> actually like, see what that shit going to look like on me. Because just because it looked one way on me... Don't mean it's gonna look the same way. Do I look like this? Yeah, I'm like, I'll if it's like not this? that same body type, yeah. it's not gonna look the same. That shit might be baggy or short or I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, nah, Kohaku, or Gen was just too tall. Senku's voice was too deep. True, yeah. Cause yeah. it was like, Senku, yeah, you could do it. And that nigga said, yeah. yeah and they was of like, of course. They said, if they asked that nigga a question, it's up. They said, we need someone. All right, bro. Why did he go last? They tried, they tried Senku first, they tried Gen second, and then they tried fucking Ginro. That nigga should have went first. Nah, nah. What? No, nah, why would, nobody likes Ginro. <laughs> he's a, he, he, he looks, looks like, like a girl. He but he like wouldn't have been girl. anybody's first. Th- In a competent, like, I wouldn't want Ginro on there. But you would want the 6'5 dude, or. <laughs> the like... mentalist that's. Six five, or the deep least, voice nigga, or the nigga not who Senku. talk like Senku this. Senku was just like a nobody should have picked Senku, but like, like Ginro, I don't think they should have picked him either. Nah, uh, Ginro would have been pick. if, but if we're gonna dress all three up, right? Yeah, I'm going Ginro first because I'm gonna pick the one that has the highest chance for success first. 
I feel like Gen being tall don't really mean. Damn, you really like Gen, huh? No, I just this think it really, makes sense. He said, "Hey, bro, I would have went with Gen first. I was mad because it, it would have made Gen sense. Gen can win. <laughs> they right. could have. Say, they Gen would have won. They could have done it. Like it would have been a great choice, and they just didn't do it. And I was like, "What the fuck? Not why not put the mentalist in there? That don't make sense to me. This nigga really want to see Gen in a dress, bro. It just makes sense. I don't see how why did they, they change his that. crack? Pause. The." Uh, <laughs> I think it was just makeup. I'm assuming, they but they made heart. it like cur- curly. You just throw. A heart. Where is Gen's crack? Pause. His face. His is on like the bottom of his eye. Yeah. Oh well, then I don't really know how they changed it completely. But I'm assuming just some makeup, cover it up, you know, cover some makeup, and then throw a heart on it. That makes sense. Oh, got makeup now. In. Oh, I guess they had to cover it, or else niggas would know he was petrified. True. They don't yeah. know shit though. They thought that fucking car was a beast. Which makes sense because they've never seen. It. I was gonna say I don't think they've you never seen, seen car. cars. Yeah, but still. so you see a moving hairy thing, you think beast? Yeah, I mean it's fair, yeah. it's perfectly fair. Yeah, bro, Shorty's beating the fuck out of Kohaku. Oh yeah, she put pause. <laughs> she was yeah. hitting spin. Bro, she was just spin spinning. Kick. She didn't even touch the ground. <laughs> she was just constantly kicking her. Yeah, no, didn't she, even touch the ground. She beating the shit out of Kohaku. Yeah, if they like, she's gonna have to turn up to fight, like because. Who who's the I don't know the dude's name. That's Maz. Maz yeah. is the dude. Maz wants to fight Kohaku. Right. Bro, like if Maz is anything like that girl, she's gonna get smoked. Well no, Kohaku was only getting smoked because she was wearing a dress and she couldn't like run. Her leg got caught in like the ropes of the dress. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think if Kohaku was actually like lit, she probably would have beat the fuck out of old girl. I don't know about that. She was piecing her up. I got Kohaku over whatever her name is. She got a long name. I forgot where her name was. but It's like Marietta or some shit. Yeah, like something like that. But I don't know. They're both pretty. They're both pretty big. She was whooping her ass. I know she was tied up with the little dress and stuff, but she was really beating her ass. Yeah, no, she got her shit cooked. Yeah. Good two episodes, though. Yeah, definitely. MVP got to be episodes. my boy uh, Ukyo. He saved their lives. His name's Ukyo, right? Yeah, Ikyo? No, it's... It starts with a U. I know yeah, that. it's Ukyo, I think. I think it hit the... Huh, bing. Yeah, he saved their lives. Because if they would have petrified well, everybody, no, it's up. he didn't save their lives. He only saved Ginro, I guess. If, and, G- if but Ginro he got petrified, no, 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 it's no. He didn't actually save Ginro's life, though. Ginro stopped swimming. Huh? If Ginro would have kept swimming... It wouldn't have, those extra two feet wouldn't have mattered. Okay. He stopped swimming. So it's a good thing that he hit the That's some pebble. bullshit, bro. That nigga should have kept swimming. He should have, but he didn't. That nigga said, the beam's coming. <laughs> if if he would have nigga. If he would have kept swimming, he'd be cool, but he didn't. So Ik- Ukyo, he bodied it. He yeah, saved their lives. Cool. Bink. Yeah. That's Shout out. Life. He he was MVP of them two episodes. Him and Sukia. No, what's her name? Suika. Suika? Suika. Yeah, Suika. They bodied it. In that watermelon, I guess. I thought she was the watermelon. Yeah, she's in a watermelon. But I didn't like that they put her watermelon next to an actual watermelon. Why? But because it didn't look like a watermelon. Like, they looked like two different fruit. Yeah, that's true. And hers had, like, leaves on top of it. And yeah. the other one didn't. The other one had the fucking lines that a watermelon's supposed to have. Yeah. I'm like, am I supposed to just believe that she just got a fully green watermelon? Is that supposed to be a, well, like, they said it, that that is yes. a watermelon? It, I'm almost positive that they uh, said it's, it's a watermelon. It's 100% a watermelon. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty sure they said it. definitely does not look like a watermelon. Suica's it, fruit. Yeah, I don't know. That definitely doesn't look like oh, a watermelon. What? Is it just a melon? Oh, Suica is a fruit, I guess. I guess it hmm. makes sense. That would make sense, right? A if it's bit. a melon, and she'd be hopping in a melon. Well, it makes a little bit it of sense. I get it. Sense. Maybe. That's probably not her real name, then. No, well, no, they're all named after shit like that, remember? Oh, yeah, true. I'm trying to see if I can look up what she's in. I don't think it says that she's in a specific watermelon. But, yeah, I guess Su- Suica is a fruit? Oh, it's a Suica Kung Fruit is a thing. Maybe that's what she's in. It looks like a watermelon. That's a watermelon. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a watermelon. Yeah, that's a watermelon. I don't know. Whatever. Shout out Suika, though. She yeah, she, she MVP. She definitely bodied that. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this... I don't know what's going to happen next. They're going to infiltrate the castle. I guess they got to find out more about the petrication beam. 
Senku said that the petrification beam was science. Nigga, that's a lie. Uh, yeah. I feel like the biggest, like, plot twist would probably be them picking, uh, the dude, Gino. What do you mean picking him? He already got picked. Oh, he already got picked? I thought that there was a competition between all of them. No, I think they're just going to go and be that nigga's wife now. All of them? I thought he was picking a wife. No, I think that nigga just won them all. I think he just gets all the wives he wants. Oh, he maybe. top nigga, so he just like, yo, go get me some wives, and they gonna pull up. Oh, uh, maybe I don't know. I thought they were picking. I thought they were. It was like a, it's a pageant. I thought that they said it was a competition. Yeah, that was the competition. And he just said, "Fuck it, I'm taking everybody." No, he picked the ones from the village that he wanted. Oh, he didn't pick everybody. There was like fourteen girls there, and he picked Kohaku, Amaryllis. Ginro and like one other girl. Oh, okay. I yeah, so like most of them didn't get picked, but oh. he was just like, yo, I'm going to get the cute ones and we out. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Also, he actually did pick Ginro. <laughs> yeah, he picked Ginro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that nigga said, you got a tomboyish charm. Yeah. And they said, damn, this nigga got diverse taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said that, and I thought that shit was funny. Yeah, that's They said, huh, funny. this nigga got weirdly said, diverse oh, taste. Diverse taste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That nigga but, Ginro clearly looks like a nigga though, but yeah, but good, good yeah. couple episodes. You got diverse taste. Hey, yeah. shit. It's I mean, he said days. like, yeah, you look like a tomboy. Well, niggas cool. like what they like. I'm gonna let that nigga rock out, bro. Yeah, do you, big dog? Yeah. Um. In other news, I saw across the Spider Verse. Man, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. That's probably the best superhero movie of all time. Man, it's I've b- heard that. Yeah. It's probably the best superhero movie. I've heard of best time. superhero no. movie of all time. What? Of yeah. all time, yeah. All time? Yeah, yeah people have actually been saying that a lot on the internet. I d- and I don't think that's recency bias. I got to go see it again, but that movie was actually incredible. Nigga said see it again? No, what? Yeah, I'm going to see it this weekend. Nigga. <laughs> no, no, Did, like, won. no exaggeration. Like, when you guys go see the movie, you will know that I'm saying the truth. You could actually screenshot any frame of that movie and make it a wallpaper. Like, that's just how cinematic and good it is. Like, I'm talking any frame. You could actually just screenshot it, and it could be a wallpaper. And that shit would work perfectly fine. Hmm. Interesting. Any frame. There's not many things you could say that for. Where you could be like, yeah, screenshot. Definitely not much. Maybe subtract, like, 100 frames. Yeah, clearly. Mm, it, like, you think literally every frame? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Yes. No, I'm dead ass. There's going to be quite a few blurry flare frames. Like, no. I don't know. No, not really. Hmm. That are blurry? Interesting. Well, it's animation, so. True. It would be frame by frame. Maybe. It's the stop. Like, because, you know, the way that that movie is, it's like stop motion ish. Kind of, yeah. So, yeah, no, nah, it, it's not going to be a blurry frame because it's actually framed by... It's supposed to look a little... So yeah. yeah, no, there's no blurry frames. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm, interesting. Well, yeah, I'm hyped to see it. I'm probably going to see it either, like, today or tomorrow. Nigga, that shit was good. Ah, man, I can't talk about the plot, but... It's a lot of characters that I want to see, they like, cooked up. more of. That shit was hidden, bro. I don't know if they're going to actually, like, flesh out it. all the characters. Best Spider-Man in that I want to see Spider-Punk. Nigga. That was easily the best Spider-Man in that bitch, bro. Yeah, he seems the hardest. Nigga, I'm not even just saying that just because I fuck with, like, punk music. That nigga was actually turned. Who plays him again? I forgot his name. I don't know. I was trying. I don't know. Was it Dan Coulier? Is that, uh... The dude from Black Panther with yeah, the... Yeah, Dan Coulier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when we were looking at the credits, I was trying to figure out who Dan Coulier was. He's Spider-Punk. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure nigga. that's him. Bro was turned. Look, I was already fucking with him when he first pulled up. But you know when they hit the, uh, let's do this one more time. And they get their backstory. Oh, yeah. Nigga was giving his backstory. And then part of the backstory, nigga said, yeah, I played a couple shows with the Mandem. And I was like, oh, yeah, that nigga gang. Okay, How does that nigga be with the Mandem? If he with the Mandem, he gang. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a Spider Man I would like really like. The Indian Spider Man was turnt. He looks so I really like that him. Indian Spider Man. He looks was lit. Turnt. I do want to see him. That nigga was lit, bro. That's gas. And like the 
I guess they're not webs. I don't know what he uses. Whatever that little Indian toy that they be yeah, spinning, that nigga raw. was going dummy, bro. Indian Spider Man was turned. Spider Punk was turned. Uh, I'm trying to think, boy, some Supreme Spider Man was cool. What was that? I've never. Uh, that's the one that's like darker red, bigger eyes. He wear like the hoodie, like the boxing uh cut hoodie. Hmm. Or it's either Supreme or Ultimate. I think it's Supreme oh. Spider Man. Oh no, I'm thinking of Unlimited. It might be un nah, Unlimited doesn't wear a hood. Hold on, wait. Is it Ultimate? No, it's not Ultimate, Ultimate. Spider Man is just like regular kind of Spider Man. No, it might be Supreme then. Supreme Spider Man. I'm like, I've never even heard of Supreme, but there's a lot of Spider Man like that they showed that I did not know. I don't know which Spider Man it is, but that nigga was lit. I've seen him before. I just can't remember what he was what he's called. You said the animation's like stop motion y? It's the same as the last uh Oh, so it's just like into the Spider Verse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but they the- added more animation styles in, so there are some like cool moments where you're like, "Whoa, mm-hmm. that shit is good, bro." It's a really fucking good movie. Dang. Like literally, I don't have any real complaints aside from like a few minor complaints of like characters just being stupid. But oh, well, like Peter Porker or something. No, no, no. I like characters making, like, a stupid decision. Oh. Where I'm like, why the fuck they do that? But, like... I see. Other than that, like, the stupid decisions even kind of go in line with their character. I really don't have any complaints about the movie. Like, that movie was actually a 10 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, Man. that shit was better than Into the Spider-Verse, by far. Was the soundtrack better? Because I know most of it is Metro Boomin', right? All of it is Metro Boomin'. Oh. Metro Boom is in it. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, Metro Spider Man. Oh, he's a Spider Man? Yeah, Metro's a Spider Man. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Um, is the soundtrack better? They don't have a sunflower. Mm. Dang, that kind of sucks. But the songs on the soundtrack are really good. Like I listen to the actual soundtrack. The soundtrack is very good. Sway Lee, that boy was cooking. Mm. But they don't have a sunflower. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sunflower like, just passed Old Town Road. For most... Uh, oh, really? Yeah, biggest song of all time. Wow. Yeah, Sunflower is number one. Mm, wow. Never would have thought. Yeah. Really? Mm. Never would have thought I didn't it know it was that popular. Turn into the like number one song ever. I didn't Never even know it was number two. I didn't even know it was top ten. Sunflower. No. Yeah. I, I, I liked the was, song. I just I didn't, didn't know, know it was top, top ten. ten. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That hmm. shit is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I just didn't know it was that popular. Oh, yeah. That shit go crazy. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Noah says that that song is propaganda, so he doesn't listen to it. It's propaganda. What does that mean again? Um, The government trying to control you. And oh. Get you to, yeah. Oh. He says propaganda to make you go see Spider-Man. And Caleb's argument was, nigga, you saw Spider-Man I was about before to say, you heard the song. Like, you was already in the theater. I wouldn't call it prop. I don't think it's made to be propaganda, but is it not kind of? Like, aren't all the songs? Isn't. No. This whole Spider-Man it's, movie it's, propaganda? It's just a, no. 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 They want you to go see the other one. No. Oh, the government. The, oh, yeah. No, I guess not. It's not propaganda. Yeah, no. I, you know, it's it it's just a good song. No, the, <laughs> like propaganda would be like like if the song was missed, it, like it was supposed to also make you hate Spider-Man. Like, like that would be propaganda. Propaganda would be like if the song was like, uh, go when vote. you're left in the dust, uh, we don't fuck with Britain. Yeah. <laughs> Go get the Mexicans. Like, hey, build yeah. that wall. Like, you know, that's propaganda. Because yeah, then niggas are like, yo, I love this song. We should do these things. Fuck Mexico. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's propaganda. Yeah. yeah propaganda is when niggas are trying to, like, input <laughs> messages. To in- do stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. It's Fake definitely news. not. Yeah. Propaganda is, they're not doing none of that. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. That is surprising that it's number one, though. Really, I, I did not know. It was that it's a huge. Thing. I like the song. I, did, I didn't know like, it was that yeah, popular. it being huge, and then Pause. it being the biggest. Pause. pause. <laughs> Crazy. I feel like it was fine until he said pause, and then you said the biggest, and I was like, "Well, yeah, I was pause. love it." Pause. Pause. <laughs> I'm the, the fact that you said I stand on it was kind of wild. Nah. But hey, do you? Do you? Yeah, no. Nah, but that shit. That was a great movie. Like incredible. I gotta go see it again. Yeah, I'm gonna probably go see it. Like, yeah, I can't wait for the next one, today. bro. That next awesome. one about to hit. The next 
Spider movie? Yeah, Beyond the Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. That's next year. It's gonna be interesting. Next yes. year, that's soon. Yeah, it's a two part movie. True, true. I forgot about that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's a two part, which I'm not a fan of. I'm okay with it. I don't really care about parts of movies because I'm not a fan of it when you're watching the movie separately. But when you combine them into one movie, then it's fantastic. Because if you look at it as its own movie, it's an unfinished story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but when you... As long as you have some type of conclusion, I'm fine. Because I'm assuming it's not like... Is it more it doesn't of really... like a reason to come back? Or is it more of like, they left you with a cliffhanger? Yeah, I don't think it should feel like that. Yeah, it was very cliffhanger. Oh. Very cliffhanger. Very cliffhanger. Oh, okay. Like... That might be a little weird, but... Like, Infinity War ended where a movie... Could, it could yeah. be its own movie. Yeah. It's just like... The movies that we just lost. Yeah. That's this not movie was like... It was not finished. Yeah. Okay. Same with the Fast and Furious movie. That's uh like a three-parter, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. That but, makes sense. That makes sense, but you would have to make three more Fast and Furious movies, so... Yeah, they just I think like, they're trying to slow down. They just like making movies. Yeah. But yeah, they that's a three parter and that shit left on just a cliffhanger. Like it wasn't even the end of the movie. That makes sense because you can't really The can't dam blew up and water anything. is literally flying at uh Dom and then nigga just like Like yeah, just You can't really conclude anything in a three part movie, I feel like. Yeah. At least in Infinity War, it was like this movie's over. We lost. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even with Infinity War. It's still kind of... Because there's Infinity War and there's Endgame. You right. know, like, it kind of... Well, they're doing that same thing with Spider-Verse because it's beyond the Spider-Verse. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. This is a two-part movie just like Infinity War and Endgame, but Infinity War is its own movie. It has its own ending. Yeah. This movie does not have an ending. Okay. Whereas Endgame picks up where Infinity War left off versus, like, them being deliberately connected. Like, there's, like, a deliberate connection between the next movie and this one. I it's like imagine. Iron Man 1 is its own movie, and it has an ending, but it still directly influences Iron Man 2. Yeah. It's not, like, halfway through Iron Man 1, the movie's over, and then you're waiting on part two. That's what this was. Okay. It's like, this shit is picking up. We're waiting on what the fuck is happening next. Roll credits. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Shit good, though. Shit gooder than a motherfucker. Mm. Now I gotta yeah, watch this I'm shit again. I'm excited to see it. And there's like Easter eggs that I obviously wasn't catching. First off, I don't know every Spider-Man. So there's so much shit that I clearly didn't know. But just more shit with like, yo, what's that shit in the background? Why did this happen? This joke was made here. What like I just know there's so much more shit that I didn't get all the way. I need to I need a... One of them TikTok guys to make the video. Did you know that in into the across the Spider Verse, Miles yeah, Morales yeah, did yeah. this because Miles Morales, like I need one of them. In the last movie, yeah, Everything you missed inside of Spider Verse. No, nah, yeah. I need I need that specific that guy. one guy. You, yeah. yeah, that specific guy. Did you know that in Cars, this <laughs> like, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Did you know that in Iron? Did you he know? Be killing it. Yeah. <laughs> did you know in Spider Man uh, Homecoming? Peter Parker has a heat warmer in his suit because Iron Man almost died from cold in Iron Man 3. Iron Man learns from his mistakes. He does kill that. I really like that about Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Every new suit that Iron Man has has an upgrade from the last movie. Yeah. Like. That's so fire. Peter's suit has the heater in it because in Iron Man 3, that nigga almost froze. He froze, yeah. Peter's suit also has a parachute in it because Rhodey. Lost his legs because he didn't have a parachute. Yeah. The uh, auto-seeking missiles because when Buddy broke his helmet, he had to aim with his hands. Exactly. Like, yeah. The energy shield because in, like, he... Oh, because he broke the, the... Because yeah. Thanos shot the laser and he lost some of his nanites. He's trying to keep as many nanites as possible. Yeah. That nigga Tony, he find a problem and he like, hold on. Dang. I'm fixing it in the next movie. Yeah, that is Whatever fire. problems I had... Next movie, no problem. ain't no problem no more. Dang, that is kind of dope. Oh, um, in Civil War, when he was fighting uh, Rhodey, or er, no, not Rhodey, um, why'd I say Rhodey? Bucky. 
Bucky. When he tried to rip his chest out? No, not that part. Oh. When he was fighting him in the crib and he pulled his watch down and he had the Iron Man shit on him. Because yeah. in Iron Man 3, the nigga's suit was broken and he didn't have no weapons on him. Oh, so he just true. keep the shit in the watch now. Dang, that is true, yeah. That nigga always ready with an upgrade, bro. Yeah, that's dope how he's just constantly thinking about, like, new shit that he could do. Whenever some shit happen, you fix it. That's cold. It's just adding another layer to the game. It's it, like, yeah, I got fucked up here. That shit will never happen again. Exactly, <laughs> like, bro. That shit will never happen. You have to show me some shit I just was not prepared for. Yep, that's yeah. why in... um. Infinity War, he took the gems out of the the stones out of Thanos' glove because they couldn't get the th- the glove off of him. So that's why he made his suit to be able to take the shit and put it in his own. Because when Tony snapped, oh, because they took the glove off of him. No, no they, they couldn't tried get it the, off. The last yeah. time they tried to take the glove off of him, it didn't come it didn't off. Come off. So right. what did he fix? He didn't take the glove off that time. Oh, he just took the stones. He just took the stones and snapped. Oh, okay. He I had his own glove. Yeah, he had his... Okay, I see Exactly. So he just took the stones. Mm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. And, hey, I'm telling you, bro. Every single time some shit happened, he upgraded and come back from it. Except for now, because, you know, he's Yeah. Dead. But... Dang, shit, you don't upgrade. know what he got I was about to work. say, He hey, might got some shit in the tuck, bro. An anti-death suit. We up. I hope not. I, uh, I As yeah. much as I love... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark. I want him to stay. Dead. I think he said that it would just cheapen the death, so he's not coming. I back. want him to stay dead altogether. Like I don't want any version of Tony Stark back in yeah. the MCU. Yeah, I think he said he's done. Well, what if he was like Jarvis? Him. Like he uploaded his consciousness. I don't no. even think I'd want that. No, nah, I'm cool. You with could that. just randomly go talk to Tony sometimes. I want yeah, there I want to that. be finality. Finality is a very important thing in a story, and when you don't have that, it starts to cheapen everything. Yeah. So I want there to be that aspect of finality in the MCU. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of wish that they didn't do the Black Widow movie after she died. Like, I'd rather just have it be like she that she's gone. That one but. didn't bother me because, one, it didn't really change the finality of her death. And two, it was just dumb. Like I think it still would have been it better to pointless. just do before she died. No, she they should have did the Black Widow movie before fucking Avengers 1. Yeah. Because we had... We was like, oh shit, Hulk's back. Oh shit, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America. Fuck is these two niggas. Yeah. And then it was the two niggas that were already the least cool. And like I Hawkeye kinda, and Black Widow. I kinda <laughs> understand Hawkeye, because I'm you can't really do a backstory on him because he wasn't even shield for real. Wait, no, he was shield, and then he switched, and then he came back. When did he switch? He went uh So you could he got hypnotized with, with, with Loki. Yeah, but he didn't switch. That nigga got hypnotized. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You okay. could 100% do a background on Yeah. Him, yeah, you could have. Yeah. Hawkeye and Black Widow should have both had movies. Because you can't make the two least cool niggas the niggas without their own movies. Because then we really don't care. But like, it's probably like they're not going to go see it. Like, but imagine if we didn't have a Hulk movie. Niggas still would be like, oh shit, it's, it's fucking the Hulk. Hulk. This is the Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody was like, oh, Hawkeye. Cool, bro. They then got a bow and arrow. Yeah, so it's like, why <gasps> would Widow? you do a movie on them? You know? So we care. I don't think... They probably thought nobody would care anyway. Nigga, nobody would have given a fuck about been, Captain America. Hey, be honest. Nah, bro. People are going to care about no, no, Captain no, no, America. Be honest. Be honest. You don't care you, about you Captain America. Gave nobody people love care. Captain America. No, nobody would have gave a fuck. I mean, nobody no, would have watched that movie. A Hawkeye movie? Nobody would have gave a fuck. Me and Jenny... No, they would have gave a fuck. No. no. Yeah, they would have no. gave a fuck. No. The same way you're saying nobody would have cared about a Captain America thing... Nobody would have cared about. They Hulk. did a movie for nobody, all the big nobody people. Nobody really. No, but would've they cared weren't about big that. people. So like, they in, were. What? No, no, no. Iron Man. In no Captain America. No. In our minds, they're big now. Before those, Iron Man was one of the bottom of the barrel. Soup. That's why they made the Iron Man movie. Marvel Iron Man wasn't in the top twenty top selling characters. I could believe that. No, like that's a say, fact. Actually, yeah, no, 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 fact. no. I could sense. believe that. Yeah. I'd... The only person in the original Avengers lineup, like the MCU original lineup that was popular was Hulk. None of those other niggas, no one gave a fuck about Captain America, Iron Man, uh, Thor. Like we, no one cared about them until they made us care about them. Yeah. We didn't, no one sense. cared. Those were like lame superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel sense. did not give a fuck or like niggas didn't give a fuck about it. That's what the Russo brothers said. That's why they picked them. That makes sense. Yeah, because they were like, oh shit, what the fuck do we do now? 
Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This shit crazy, but yeah, niggas didn't care. Yeah. Shout out to MC do- MCU though. I want to know where they're gonna go from here. I hope the DCEU start to pick up. I think it will. The Flash looks good. Yeah, I'm seeing it early. That's what's up. Yeah, nigga got invited to another early private screening. Yeah, Warner I hate Brothers. The suits, fuck though. With me. Huh? I hate the suits. That's the only thing. The suits? What's wrong with you? I hate the suits. It make his jaw look big. The other Flash just massive. Like oh. the Batman suits are alright. Like those are the same as always. But I like Supergirl. The Supergirl suit is okay. It doesn't look like fire. Supergirl, but I like what you it. Mean? It looks just like Supergirl. No, nah, I like. I mean, I know the the long sleeve shirt with the skirt and the high boots. Like that's how I think of Supergirl. But that's what she has. She had the long sleeve shirt. She got like a whole yeah, jump. No. yeah. Like it's totally different. She kind of looked like a boy when I first saw her. Yeah, when I was. I remember <clears throat> I did a live reaction to the trailer and I was like, "Oh shit, Superboy!" Yeah, yeah. That's supposed to be Supergirl. Yeah. Well, it is Supergirl, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You said supposed to be. Well, yeah, because you thought it was Superboy. Yeah. Whatever. But <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm ex- I'm excited for the movie. They said the director said that he's not gonna recast um Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller because he said there's nobody who can play that shit better. Nigga, if y'all don't go get Grant Gustin, if y'all don't get Grant Gustin on the phone They probably tried. He doesn't want to Okay, but yeah, they yeah, but I'm saying done. he would be a better flash than Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller a thousand times. Yeah, 100%, but they're not going to get him. Grant Gustin was such a good, like, CW had some shaky writing. You know, there's nothing we could do about that. Grant Gustin did a incredible job with what he had, and I I just know he's going to be better than Ezra Miller. Yeah. I saw Ezra Miller in the other fucking Justice League movie and shit like that. Grant Gustin is a 40 times better Flash. Yeah. Ezra Miller doesn't feel like Flash to me. He doesn't. It doesn't. He doesn't feel like Flash at all, honestly. Yeah, bro. Not, I want to see. I don't know his real name, but Reverse Flash. They need to put him in a DC movie, bro. He is a great actor. Oh, you're talking about the actor, um, Tom, Tom, Cav, what's Tom Cavanaugh? Maybe. I think that Tom sounds Cavanaugh familiar. Is his name? Yeah, but he was a great Reverse. No, Flash. he's one of the best. Yeah, his name is Tom Cavanaugh. He's not just a great Reverse. Flash. He's just a great he's actor. A great actor. The fact that he played. Four different people is crazy. Who's the best male actor of all time? Uh, uh, dang, that's tough. I want to say Kavanaugh just because, but like Tom Kavanaugh is your vote. He's yeah, it's one of the worst vers- versatile I've seen. I guess I don't know who you guys see. Best mm-hmm. male actor. I don't know, man. Will Smith is up there. He's made me forget that he's Will Smith sometimes. Uh, that is pretty impressive. Yeah, no, no, no. Like because the fact a, that it's Will Smith, yeah, no, like, making you not know it's Will star. Smith is crazy. He is a huge star, and I will forget that he is like he's Will from, Smith. He's top five. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. up there. He top five. He might be top. And three. I've seen like he does hella different roles, right? Yeah. So like he'll be funny sometimes. He'll be super serious. He'll do like a sad role. Yeah, like that guy can do. He just got range. Yeah. Um. If we talk about range, there is one man and one man only that can go in that spot for me. It's got to be Paper Boy. Brian Tyree Henry. That is true. That nigga got the ultimate range ever. Bro. That nigga will play any character. And I'd be like, what the, bro, none of his characters are similar. Yeah. That nigga play Paper Boy. That nigga play Festos. That nigga is fucking Miles Morales' dad. That nigga was in Fruitvale Station. That nigga was in Bullet Train. And every single time, he's a vastly different character. And I'll be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. That nigga was in Godzilla vs. Kong. And none of his characters are even marginally similar. That is true. He is Every single actor. time, I'm like, this paper boy? This, this, this nigga, this, the same nigga that played Festos? That shit is so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's that nigga is he's he's definitely most nice. range in the game. But if we're not talking range, and I'm talking one nigga that played the same role and he do it perfect every time, John Carlo Esposito. <laughs> That's true, N- nigga. <laughs> he is always the same person, but that is him. Whenever I see that nigga in a movie, I go, Who "This is shit that? is incredible." That um, one, what would you know him from? Did you watch the Get Down? Yeah. 
he's the the dad from the get down, the pastor dad. Yeah, I'm, I can't think yeah, I'm like I'm trying to think of another. Uh, he's in face. Breaking Bad. Did you That's watch it. that? Yeah, Breaking Bad. No, I didn't watch. Breaking oh, Bad. he's the main. Uh, he's the top nigga of this nigga. He's Vought. He's the top of. Vought. Oh yeah, that nigga. That nigga does a great job. Whenever you see this head. nigga in a movie, you're like, oh shit, this shit just elevated. This this shit just yeah. got forty times, bro. I was watching um, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And I was talking to Noah, and I was like, yo, this evil nigga, the nigga with the three eyes, I was yeah. talking to Noah, and I was like, this one of the best anime villains. Like, this nigga up there, Noah said, that's Giancarlo Exposito. I was... Did not know that. Checks out. Yeah. Because that nigga just... He was good. Yeah, that nigga was evil as fuck. Dang, yeah, he was really good. Nah, Giancarlo Exposito, that nigga can act. Who the top female actor, a- actress? I guess not a female actress. Who's the top actress? Mm. You could just make it noises. <laughs> Cause I was gonna say Scarlett Johansson, but I was like, ah, oh, she plays the same character and everything. That's, but no, she does have a lot. She has some range. I feel like that's a horrible pick. I was just saying. Uh, I've never person. felt like Scarlett Johansson was a good actress. I think she's a good actress. I never, I've never felt that. Way. I, I, just, I wouldn't say the best. But she, I, I'd say she's I just a good feel actress. Like she's like. I've never felt like she's a good actress. Who? Oh, oh, her name just flew into my brain and flew out so quick. She but she, she's just literally one of those people that like I don't want to like sound misogynistic or anything, but like eye candy is just like oh, this person is super pretty. So like we give her. Like, and you're not talking about Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think. There's Angelina another Jolie? person, and I get her and Scarlett Johansson confused. What was she in? I can't. I can't even. Uh, I can't even think. Jolie? No, I just thought about another actress. Actress I like though, Margot Robbie. I like. I like her. She's good. I haven't seen I her like in her. enough, but I think she's good. I I like her. I she, yeah. she does the thing like she's always the crazy girl. Like whenever yeah. I see her, she's the same role. She's Barbie. True. Not surprising. Yeah. That, that would that not align with the crazy girl. Barbie's not that Barbie's crazy. Not that Barbie's crazy. Crazy. Well, I didn't crazy. see the movie, so maybe she. Yeah, Barbie girl, is man, crazy, but, but no, like. Uh, the, Think about like she's penthouse, big dumb crib, everything pink. Like Barbie is crazy. Like that, that she plays a crazy girl. It's not always the same brand of crazy. Like it could be like yeah. I'm not I, me personally. I'm not a Margot Robbie fan. I like her. For me, if I gotta say best actress, Viola Davis. Whenever she get on the screen, damn, that's actually a great. You pick. gonna feel that weight. Yeah, she be acting her ass off bro that's fact i have never watched a movie with viola davis in it and i'm still just not captivated bro yeah you viola davis is right. going to captivate you she be oh my god like when she's um fuck she was in widows she was bodying that shit she's amanda waller yeah she the best amanda waller ever amazing amanda waller whenever she's acting you are going to Feel yeah, it. she just plays like a super powerful role every time. Her presence is di- oh shit. Um, fuck, why is her name escaping me? I know her name. I know her name. Shit. Oh my god, Queen Ramonda. Oh, Angela, Angela Bassett. Bassett. Yeah, oh, Angela I was Bassett. thinking her. Literally, I said Ramonda, and then the, yeah, Angela Bassett. I was thinking Angela Bassett, but I was like, nah, Viola Davis. I think Viola Davis got it. Oh, I think Viola Davis is better like, than she Angela might Bassett, but be, Angela like, Bassett is up there on my list. Yeah, she, she, she Angela Bassett every be role. And Angela Bassett has more range than Viola Davis, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. That is probably true. I think Viola Davis acts in her role better, but Angela Bassett got more range than Viola Davis. Yeah. Because if you need a black woman in a powerful role, you got it. Like <laughs> it's over with. Yeah. Viola Davis goaded. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some other really good actresses. Like who are some that every time I see them on the screen, I'm like, oh shit, this movie about to get good. Um I like Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep's a no, yeah. she's an incredible, she's an incredible actress. actress. Yeah, Meryl Streep's And really I think good. she has range. That's also something like she she can play that mom role. I haven't seen her in enough. I've, I've seen her know. get funny. And that's what matters yeah, she to is me. Funny. Yeah, she like funny. if you can divert to like from serious to funny, if you got if you have the dramatic to comedic yeah. range, I feel like that is just like the best range to have. Like yeah. being able to yeah. go serious to like hilarious that's is boy. everything. That's Paperboy for you. Yeah. That nigga Paperboy can act 
anything. Anything you need, Paperboy give it to you. You can literally come up with any character and put Paperboy in it, and he will make you believe he is him. Nah, Paperboy could be man. Iron Man, nigga, and he could make me believe that shit. Yeah. Mm, no. Yes. I don't know. He told me his name was Tony Stark. I, I would start. Nah, I don't know. Okay. But if watch Atlanta and go ahead and tell me that he's going to be a, a gay dude and you're going to be like, oh, okay. No, that nigga make you believe it. That nigga can do anything, bro. That nigga could be Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Tell me he's going to be a flamboyant gay man. I'm going to be like, no. Nah, The Rock is the best. Nah, there's a plan. No, The Rock is... The Rock is always He's The, the rock, rock in every movie. He's <laughs> The Rock in literally yeah. every movie. Same with John Cena. John Cena is always going to be John Cena. Yeah. yeah. Vin Diesel is always going to be Vin Diesel. Yep. Yeah. Kevin Hart's always going to be Kevin Hart. Yeah. I think Kevin Hart could probably take on a serious role in a movie and like do do like a serious role, and I feel like. But he's, he's still Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. he what, like, because he he's gonna do some comedic like shit. That. He could make like, me feel like he's that. I, I think he could do a movie and like do some Adam Sandler and switch up like uncut gems type shit and just do some shit. I haven't where seen that movie. Though. Yeah, where I heard it's, it's completely really different. Good. Than your entire like catalog of movies, I feel like Kevin Hart could do that, but I don't think he ever will. Actually, I, just, I said that it's a really good movie. It's a good movie. The most, uh, the best part about it is Adam Sandler. The writing and like the actual cinematography isn't the greatest, mm. but Adam Sandler like switching roles like that is really impressive. Yeah. Okay. Um, Samuel Jackson is pretty good too. True. But I feel like he he's always he's Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Like he's gonna call somebody ah, yeah, a motherfucker. Guess, yeah, he's and always that's Samuel just Jackson. It. Yeah, that is true. Because it is still Samuel. Because I was thinking I saw that one I saw a part of that one movie where he's like a dog. No, he's a cat. He's a what? It's like this dog that's learning kung fu and he's the teacher. Oh my god, that shit looks so ass. Pause of Fury. Yeah, yeah. I saw like part of that when I was working at the theater and I was like, oh like he actually kinda doing well. That but it was still Samuel. So Jackson. ass bro. Oh you saw it? No. The oh. trailer looked terrible. Yeah, Lawrence I saw like Fishburne. the beginning part. He's never been a great actor to me. I just I know, fuck with him you know, but you know why I know him? Akilah and the B? Strictly because I get him mixed up with Samuel L. Jackson. That's racist. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's only because I'll see him and like I'll think Samuel L. Jackson and be like, this ain't Samuel L. Jackson. Like, the- <laughs> you know who I get fucked up? Lawrence funny. Fishburne and Forrest Whitaker. Them, they, I, they don't even look alike, but in my mind, same nigga. Same. That, but that's how, me. Lawrence Fishburne is just like a, you know, like, if you can't get, if you Same. can't get certain niggas, you get Lawrence Fishburne. Nah, if you can't get Michael B. Jordan, you get that Michael C. Jordan nigga. What's that nigga's name? You know who I'm talking about? Michael C. I Jordan. I think I probably do. That nigga I, is literally Michael no. B. Jordan, but not. Fuck, I'm, I want to Google him, but I don't know how to Google him. Michael <laughs> C. Jordan. I don't think he's, it's going to say, did you mean Michael B. Jordan? Right? It says Michael C. Johnson. Michael C. Johnson. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's his name? What did he act in? I forgot Kang's name, but he's really good. Oh yeah, no, he's good. Michael C. Jordan. He's um, he's Jimmy in uh Supergirl. You think of him? <laughs> that nigga is Michael C. Jordan. I I feel you, but I never would have like. Whenever that, that you can't Jimmy get Michael, Olsen? yes, yeah. Whenever you can't get Michael B. Jordan, you get this nigga. I promise you, bro. That I don't think nigga... I've seen him in anything other than Supergirl. Really? Nah. Uh, he's in uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, he was like Jax. I'm telling you, when you can't get Michael... Because when the... you should have got Michael B. Jordan for Jax, right? I know. You should have got a much older dark... I don't know why they cast him anyway. That's not Jax, bro. Nigga, you... This nigga is Michael C. Jordan. His name is Makad Brooks. Yeah. Mm. Makad C. Jordan. Yeah, nigga. That's Michael C. Jordan. That nigga is ass. Yeah, him playing Jax was terrible. Like, you know who's a, an amazing comes, actor? I, I hmm. don't think he he would make a terrible Jax. Nah, you got to get somebody older. He, does, like, he doesn't look like he would be a terrible Jax. Well, he was Jax. He, he was a cool Jax. Yeah, yeah. I don't but think Michael would be, B. Jordan would have been better. 
I don't think Michael B. Jordan. Would I don't think Michael Jax. B. Jordan would be a better Jax. Go I wa- think Jax has to be older. Go watch that movie, and I promise you, you're gonna look at that and be like, "Damn, this should have been Michael B. Jordan standing here." Promise you. No, I don't think you so. didn't see the movie. There's just no way. Watch the movie. He don't nigga. even slightly remind me of Jax. But you ain't see the movie. That dude don't even fit Jax. The, you the, didn't I, see I the do movie. feel like this guy would oh, fit, no. uh, fit Jax. Like from my know, like just knowing Mortal Kombat, that guy would fit Jax. Bald oh, no. black guy. I think you automatically need somebody. Mid- mid thirties. Like other yeah, I think I think he could have looked a little bit older for the role, but I don't think he was the right age range. Michael B. Jordan has Just, range too though. Yeah. He do got range. Yeah. As much as I I think he's a little overrated, but he I think, got range. I think he's, no, he's actually he's got pretty, pretty privilege. Rated. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just got he's and acting, that's great. Like he's a very, very no no the, yeah, the, I think he's a good actor. But him being handsome has made him. Yeah, like there's one ugly of, actors that yeah. are just as good as him that don't get as far as him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know who I hate every single time I see them on my fucking screen, bro? Hmm. Brie Larson. She is the worst actress. Yeah, ever, Yeah, she's bro. a pretty bad actress. I don't she's, know who that is. Uh, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, she's a. I don't terrible see her actress. in Brie Larson. Doesn't she's... act. She just reads the script. Yeah. That's how I feel about um I don't know her name, but the main girl from Fast and Furious. Uh what's her name in that? Letty from Fast and Furious? Anytime I see um, her in a movie, I'm just like, oh my god, this is. That shit the is Hispanic bad. girl? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know who the, I haven't seen her in much, so uh, I don't know. She's in Fast and Furious. She was just in that new um uh, what's that shit called? That Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was in that. I'm she trying to terrible, see. Terrible, bro. I'm trying seen to see it, like what so, movies like, Brie know, Larson sure. has been in. And she was I'll... also in Fast and Furious, actually. Yeah, she was oh, yeah. in Fast and Furious, uh, Fast X. Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, she's terrible. Yeah, but I, yeah, all I of like these movies actually. are like, like it's Don John and like Why Train. Does it sound familiar. That you definitely saw this movie Can on I see a picture. Don John. It's the one uh, you definitely. Oh, this saw nigga's a good actor, though. Yeah, no, the, yeah. yeah, that guy's a great. Yeah. I forget his name. Me it's, too. Um, but that nigga's a good actor. He has like three names. He's one of those. Oh, uh, the three names jo- niggas be fired. Joseph Gordon Lovett. Yeah, that Lovett. nigga's a good actor. Yeah, that nigga's a really good actor. Scarlett Johansson. Nah, she is. Trash. She is. Yeah, she's. Isn't she the the. Like I, I've never seen Don John. Co-star. Though. I'm pretty sure she's like his co-star for the movie. Oh, Don John. Yeah, nah. Never seen it. But yeah, there's some good ass actors out there. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's some fire ones. There's some What's people. What's that one? Nah, she... Mm. Nah. You know who I think's an overrated Cara actress? Cara Delevingne or whatever her name is. Cara Delevingne. She's a singer. She always she? plays like a really dark character, so it's not... My, huh? Nah, that was uh, Enchantress in Suicide Squad. She also. Oh yeah, 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 with the uh, menacing eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. She always plays like a darker role. So you know I who guess... she remind me of? She's the female version of that one nigga with the eyebrows. Oh she... yeah, 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 yeah. That the, nigga. Uh, the, the dude from eyebrows. Guardians of the Galaxy, the flying guy. Yeah, yeah. Eyebrows. Whatever eyebrows. His name is. Yeah. Guy with the minute. If you Google, guy... he'll pop up. No, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If you look up guy with the menacing eyebrows, actor he'll pop up. with menacing eyebrows. If you look up actor with your yep. eyebrows, it'll that probably guy. pop up. <laughs> yep. Will you look him up? That's him. Yeah. Will Poulter. Yeah. Eyebrow man. Yeah. Shout out I to don't him. know if that'll happen if you type in that for Oscar Kong. Isaac is an amazing actor. Great actor. That yeah. nigga is crazy. Very true. Oh shit. Um Robert Downey Jr. True. Also an incredible actor. Yeah. That's true. That yeah. nigga's a good ass actor. Yeah. One of the best. I think it was, I think he fits like the dickhead role though. Like no, but you can see him in like um the movie was terrible. But Doctor Doolittle, he was in that. He did a really good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did a good job at Sherlock Holmes. Um, oh yeah, he did do a really yeah, good job but, in that. But, yeah, but when you're Sherlock Holmes, you're kind of a dickhead. Like that, a that's, little bit. Yeah, he, he yeah. just he's good at playing like the dickhead, like smart guy role. Like that. That's just what it is. You know who's an actor I don't like that much, which I'm gonna get hate for this. I don't think I don't like Ryan Reynolds, bro. Not a fan of Ryan I think, Reynolds. I think he's. Like, I think he actually is pretty okay. Yeah. I get why you wouldn't like him, but I I do think he's pretty. I okay. think he yeah. has. The, I think there's a bit of him that's like a little cringe. Right? Yeah. Like 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 he's annoying. It's it's like TikTok child cringe though. Like it's not like. 
I'm trying to think. It, it's not like I hate this guy because it's, he's like a terrible actor or he can't ever do shit. It's just, it, it feels kind of cringe. Like whenever he, he's I, he's not watch, a bad actor. He's just annoying. Yeah. yeah, he's not a bad actor. Uh, yeah, he's not a, a bad actor. I could understand. I, I, I feel just, the same way about. I don't really mind him though. I, I, I like him as Deadpool. Him. Like him as I like him, I like him in, I think uh, in his Deadpool, roles. Though, I think know? yeah, that's what I kind of feel like. Like his character outside of his like acting is like Deadpool still. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's just kind of like the the same humor. The yeah. same, yeah. He's like, okay to me. Yeah, I feel the same way okay. about Seth Rogen. I don't like Seth Rogen. I like oh, Seth Rogen. That's uh the funny guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I not like Seth Rogen. I really, it's... I really dislike him. Yeah, I'm I like not a Seth because he's like always trying to be so funny. I, I like him never, as a just I, not. I, I, I yeah, like he's just not a, a funny guy for stories more than I like him as like. What is he written? Uh, I. Think he has a good amount of stuff written. Oh shit! Maybe he wrote some heat. Yeah, I've only known him as an actor. I didn't know he was a writer. Yeah, he's a comedian. Well, yeah, I know, but yeah. I'm saying, like, what movies has he written? Uh, I know he. Oh, he wrote the new Ninja Turtles. Hopefully that's well, good. that's oh why the one that about like the little kids. Yeah. Ah, uh, didn't know that. I don't. Look yeah, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, fucking super bad. The movie Superbad is like... I never saw Superbad. Isn't yeah. That, isn't that supposed to be like a comedy? Yeah. I could see it. Yeah, I never saw it. Yeah, I never it saw it, but I could understand. He, uh, I like the stuff he writes. Does he only write comedies? Uh, Yeah, mostly. I mean, I feel like he probably should. Yeah, yeah like, like, that, yeah, that's like his bag. bag so yeah, I was like, just wondering. That makes sense, though. Yeah. Yeah, I would be... If he wrote a drama, it probably wouldn't be the best shit in the world. You know what? Ooh, a comedian that I hate when I see him in movies... I know I'm gonna get flack for this. What's that nigga's name? Fuck. Damn it. I know his name. I don't want to say anything about him because y'all gonna say it. I know one of his names. What's his? Ah, Eric Andre. I cannot say <laughs> Nah, sometimes. I, I, I don't I think he's, yeah, he's that, not nigga. your brand of yeah, comedy. I, cannot, he, I, I, I think that, he's just funny. not your brand that of comedy. That nigga's literally just slapstick. I'm an idiot. Like, nigga, nah. be funny, bro. <laughs> nah, like, sometimes. That no, nigga's never funny. He's, he's, never, actually, he's a he's clown, bro. Funny he's not a sometimes. comedian. That nigga's a clown. He, I yes. can agree to that. Yes. I don't like clowns. I there, like comedians. Yeah, there yeah, are certain he's not times. Your brand of comedy. But there's certain times where sometimes that nigga he is actually just like is next funny. level yeah. hilarious. I said his name and E-Man started dying. That nigga <laughs> love Eric Andre. He, <laughs> he's just so out of pocket with something. He's outrageous. I don't know what the name. I don't know what the name is. Like just looking for a reaction type comedy. I forgot what That's that a is. Clown nigga. There's something up, but shock, he says some yeah, shock humor. Yeah, he's like yeah. big shock humor, and some of the stuff he says is like, "Whoa, that's actually." Good Eric point. Andre remind me of Tiffany Haddish. Like they they just just do shit just to yeah. do it, bro. I could that's yeah, just, I actually get that. It's not genuinely funny. It's just like you doing some shit. Yeah, I, don't know, I find Tiffany Haddish more like I uh, uh, I only get like it, it's like white Hollywood's black girlfriend. Okay. Like, like that. That's All it. Right. Like every time I see her, it's like it, they always have her doing the "Hey, girl, hey, like what you doing?" Yeah. It's, it's always like that. It's like supposed to be like it's. It feels like a caricature black woman, okay. just yeah, for I most stories. I can that see is, that. Look, I don't feel the now. That might just be who Tiffany Haddish is. She just might be a black woman who is actually like this, right? Right. But it feels like they're just always selling me like. Oh my God! Is the black girl who could be hanging out with us like that? that <laughs> like that? I don't really get anything else out yeah, of it. I'm, I'm just not a Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, fan. I don't like Tiffany Haddish or Eric Andre. I'm not yeah, like I don't find her like funny or like I don't, I don't know. Like I'm trying to think about people in. Like, Eric Andre is like the only like shock value humor that is just so out of pocket. That yeah, he's nah, actually the he's, niggas from Jackass are also kind of funny. The niggas from Jackass aren't out of pocket like how he's out of pocket. Yeah, though. yeah, like, they're different out of pocket. I out of hate pocket. Jackass so much. Jackass yeah, is kind of funny, but that's not <laughs> right, your brand Jackass of humor. Is not yeah, funny to it's me. not your. Yeah, brand that's of not humor. your. Now brand you know what I thought I wouldn't like, but I actually love with all my heart and soul. Impractical jokes. I love impractical. They're yeah, hilarious because, but they're actually like genuinely like they're smart too. Like, like they're doing shit 
but it's like very calculated humor, which yeah. is, that shit is hilarious. Bro. Yeah, yeah. They, they are funny. Like they're and telling they each other to do like, outrageous things, but it's very calculated. You, there's yeah. also shock value in it too, but like it's it's just what it is. I remember one time I was watching Impractical Jokers and Alexis was like sleeping on me, right? So we're on the couch, I'm sitting like this, and she was like sleeping on me, and. Some shit happened that was so funny that I literally started die, like out loud dying laughing and woke her up. She was so upset. Yeah. And the next day I was like, no, like I got to show you what I was laughing at. And she wasn't even mad. This shit was so funny. She wasn't even mad no more. She started dying laughing. I was like, oh, okay. Like I get it. I forgot what his name is, but oh, crap. It's like the main one. I feel like. Oh, Which practical joke? Yeah. Uh, well, it's not Mur. Joe? Or just Sal? Sal. Sal's my Sal favorite. Sal is hilarious. Sal's my favorite. Joke. Yeah. Sal is the best one. Sal is fucking hilarious to me. Yeah. And he actually does stand up. Like, that's the thing, right? If you're like Eric Andre, he's the, his type of humor. I don't think, and I've never watched it. Maybe he has a stand up yeah. bird, but I don't think he could, he would be a good stand up comedian. He, has, nigga, he has a show. He had a, like a show. Yeah, but that was, but a that's not a stand up. That was no, no, a he would, he would bring yeah. people on. Like he could go and do that in front of a crowd. Like, no, yeah, no, no, but that's no, not no. The same he could definitely, he could definitely go do his show in front of a crowd. But yeah, yes, you could, yes, but that's but not the same as stand up. That's not the same as yeah. stand up. It, w- it wouldn't be stand up. Yeah. Like I don't think, I mean, I don't think that's not his bad. Does he do it in front of a crowd? Yes, what? yes, it's yeah. a live audience. The, the, but what, his Andre show? show yeah. Yeah. yeah, he does but, his show in front of us. But I'm saying, like, stand-up, like, Dave Chappelle, he does the funny, outrageous skit comedy, yeah. but that nigga's also hilarious when it's time to be genuinely yeah. stand-up funny, you know what I'm saying? Uh Eric Andre, I don't know, I've never seen his shit. Like, Tiffany Haddish, I watched her stand-up, terrible. That shit was, yeah, I, I can, didn't laugh one I time. Understand. Yeah. Kevin What's... Hart, surprisingly, is really good at stand-up comedy. I think he's gotten better. I remember the That's old, sh- the yes. old shit was not, uh, yeah. like, yeah, the old better. shit was a lot of the clown shit, like, yeah. laugh at me. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Where yeah. that's not a joke. It's just punchline. Punch yeah. Line. yeah. It's punch not punchline. Line. It's just you. You're like, just it's just stupid. you being silly. Yeah. But his newer shit, like, I've watched his last two stand up. Or maybe I haven't watched the most recent. I haven't watched one of his in a long time. But like, I was like, oh shit. This is genuinely funny. Like, this nigga's actually telling good jokes. Mm. Yeah, the, I think he's definitely uh, matured in that sense when it comes down to comedy. I love Laurel yeah, Howery. That well, nigga's one of the funniest niggas I think alive. with, like, Ooh. Dave Chappelle and people like that, Laurel? I think it's way harder that to, sounds like... sounds familiar. He's funny. I think it's way harder to, like, compare people when it comes to, like, certain people. Like, Dave Chappelle is uncomparable to anybody for stand up. Like Oh yeah, for sure. Like, like it, is, it's hard to stand up. Yeah. Michael Shea, another good stand up comedian. Yeah, they, but it's nothing there's nothing you can do when a guy's just naturally like talented or something. Like uh, he, the, you can put in a lot of work. Being funny is one of those things where it's just like the harder you try, the the lesser funny you could be. Like that, the, the nah, harder you, skill. It's I, skill. I don't think. Be, I think sk- there's a bit of like natural pizzazz to like your funniness. There's going to be like certain people who can't be as funny to like you oh, as they would be to other people because it's just brands of humor. But there are certain people who just like humor is their bag. Like they, yeah. they can just get in a humor bag. Like the, I just think there's certain like proclivities people are going to have to like certain natural things that are going to help you with comedy. And I think Dave Chappelle is just one of those people where all of the things just lined up. Yeah. Like, I think he's, he's yeah. very funny. He's really good at like writing stand up, and his show it, is hilarious. Too. I think he's good naturally. Like that, uh, that is just like, even without a joke being like, like he can give you a punchline on some shit you didn't see coming. Yeah. Like, yeah. so I just think that's just natural funniness. Like a, a naturally like, Eddie Murphy, I think, is one of those people. Eddie who, Murphy is also a pretty decent. No, he's, he's a good, good actor. At, he's not that funny to me. I, I think he's really good at stand up. I didn't think, oh, I think he's a better actor. Stand- or no, I have watched his stand up. Yeah, his stand up is like he has legendary stand up. Really? Yes, I haven't seen really. much of his stand up. You've never not, seen him no, in the full red suit. I. Mm. Yeah, I don't like think I have. And like Richard Pryor, like there are people where they are legendarily funny. And it's like this isn't even like stand up isn't even the best best way to capture they are funny. Like I think they're I think funny like 
comes in multiple different ways. So like you can never get somebody who's just going to be like objectively hilarious. Like, yeah, I think, um, another nigga who's actually crazy good at stand up, wish he still did it. Donald Glover was fucking. I hilarious. really yeah. wish he still did stand up. That nigga. I've had, rewatched Weirdo so many times. But that, see, that, that's that nigga person? got like mini ones that's not even Weirdo, bro. Did you see the one where he was talking about Hiroshima? No, Funny I don't think ever. so. Funniest shit ever. I think I think like Donald Glover is one of those people where it's like he just reaches into the bag. He's just being himself. And like that makes him excel. He and, also seems like a really calculated, like comedian. Like he's just but, a really smart person. Yeah, that's yeah. just who he is as a person. When he reaches in that bag, regardless of whatever he pulls out, it's gonna be some shit you could not have seen coming. Yeah. Like that's just like with his music. You're, there's no way you thought he was gonna get in his bag, and the shit he pulled out is way better than what you ever thought it could be. Nah, and his new shit not hidden, but well, yeah, but but that's still like Kim, in comparison, like name another actor that was really putting out albums like this, nigga. Like the, the name Will another Smith. comedian, Will Smith, actor, comedian, uh, Don't. rapper, <laughs> all that. Not, that nigga's multi platinum. Yeah, but the, being multi platinum and being good at music are two different things. Uh, there are two different things. There are two different things. That nigga was very good at music. The Will Smith I think was really also just at, abundantly famous. I think, yeah, I think he's music, though. good he got, he got at music. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I don't think his music is like... I like was standing head and shoulders above like... I, I think with Childish Gambino and all of it, his music on top of like, like what he was doing was unparalleled to anybody like trying to do what he was doing. He was, he's just like moving completely different. Whereas yeah. I think, uh, I think when people try to step out of the box, they start fucking up, right? Like he was just being himself dropping all the OG shit. He was just doing like the music he was having fun doing is Jordan Peele. The first movie gas, the first movie he puts out gas. Second one, Nigga, you lost me. The second like, one was ass. Yeah, the, you you lost me. Third now, one was horrible. No, no, the, that's what I was really good. The, the the us what what was it? Us was the second one. I thought yeah. it was the second. Yeah, yeah, the second one was mid because he's trying to be so far out of the box. Third one ass. Yeah, third like, one did you is, see it? No, that was terrible. No, was the, the I started one. watching it and I I, I was nope. so lost. The nope. the. Yeah. Uh, Cowboy, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck was going on. She was terrible. I hate it. No. So like, I, I know when like certain, certain people are trying to get into a bag, you just being good at getting in the bag doesn't mean you're gonna like pull out something good. Jordan Peele should have stayed on Key and Peele. No, uh, Uh, maybe I don't know. Who cares? But Key and Peele. Now that show was genuinely funny, bro. Key and Peele is late, and great actors too. Cause yeah. they, no 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 they're great actors. Yeah. Them niggas got range. If they, we talking about range, range. Them niggas got. They make you believe range, yeah. bro. Them niggas are everybody. Yeah, there is not a single role that they name. Name something random. Go ahead. Name a random role. The most outrageous shit you can think of. Uh, a cup of milk. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a great. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't see this shit coming. Yeah, you not you not being a cup of milk. Um. A, a stripper. Oh no, yeah, that's not even that crazy. They was yeah. I was about to say. I mean, probably was been. Definitely, he's definitely yeah. a stripper. Somebody was a stripper. When uh, I forgot which one that was, but that, I feel like he was just like being somebody's mom. Perfect every time. Which time? Oh, he's been a mom a lot of times. Yeah, that they've is both true. been moms. They've both been dads. They've been women. They've been men. They've been gay. They've been straight. They've been black, white, every color. Like anything you could think, they've been cops, teachers, substitute teachers. Uh, chefs, yeah. priests, anything you could think of, they've been it. They've done yeah. it. So, and they've done it well. Yeah. I'm trying to, best, like, best I, I think Peel's writing is good. I think he just needed to stick to like, I think his writing was good. No, no. I, I think he just tried too hard to get out the box, right? Like, yeah. when you're trying that hard to like one up something, I I think that's that's the problem with like ninety percent of creators. It's you're always trying to one up something and not just trying to do what's like yeah. you what you're. I doing. I feel like not even to sound like I'm doing the most. Once you start trying to get too far outside the box, you're kind of in it now because like people know what you're about to try to do. Mm. You know, 
Nah, I feel like you just you lose all meaning, right? Like nah, he kind of like spin, there though. is no box anymore. Like once you try and get so far out of the box, you're not even in a box anymore. And now niggas have no clue what they're looking at. Nah, but like if you like, if you trying to get out the box, you put yourself in a box by trying to be out of it. Yeah, because if you out the box, you're just out the box. But if you're trying to be out the box, that that's is your the new box. box. Your new box is sense. trying to get out the box. Yeah, but uh, I, you can't. Hey, that was that was profound. I don't even feel like niggas are like he's not in a box anymore. Like what? But he what, put himself he in, is in a box. box. He put himself, like, yeah, he put himself in in a situation where it's just like this, now niggas are going to be hyper analyzing your shit because he stepped out the box with uh with. Get out. Get out. But then get out became his box. And now he put now us everything and else are is in, in that box. That box. He yeah. made a new. He made the new box. Damn. He the new Roddy Rich. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roddy Rich. I, is terrible. I just feel like he. <laughs> what you call him? Roddy Rich. Oh, I thought terrible. you said Roddy Bitch is terrible. Oh Jesus! No. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> No, Roddy Rich is terrible. I don't think he's terrible. I just think name a good song he's put like out the last. Could name a good, good song he's put out since the box. First off, the box isn't even a good song. That's it's kind that's of okay. It. That's the it beat is good. The song is not good. Now, now, which one he did go crazy? What on um? I put that new forty on the G. I jump into the bloody bottles on the G. That was okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that that nigga. He's not. That's a genuinely good song. He's not bad at music. I just think name name another good song. He exploded too quick. Name another good song by him. Another Once, good song by him. Uh, there's, I'm trying to think about the one. He's like standing out outside of a house throwing a ton of money. And I, with I, I uh, Corday? every rap music huh? video ever. With Corday? No. Oh. You know Corday. He's standing. It's like him and all his niggas around like a black Corvette standing outside of this like white house. It's I'm trying every to Roddy Rich. I was about to say, that's Roddy Rich. <laughs> every that's every a lot New of, York rap music video ever. No. Every New York rap video is them, them niggas at a gas station somewhere. And I'll be like... No, that's Atlanta. No, nah, that, that's, that's, that's Atlanta. the Atlanta niggas be all in the middle of the trenches. I'm talking like New York niggas just be like eight deep in a deli or like 30 deep at a gas station. Like it, they do be a, in the gas station. Like they, they be in store. Or something. 30 niggas at a gas station, but gas stations in New York look dope because they're surrounded by tall buildings and it's just yeah. like one tiny building surrounded by a bunch of tall buildings. You know what I hate it, to though. admit? Oh, Maybe inside it don't make stations. no damn sense. Like, but, um, you know what I hate to admit? That's like it's facts that we can end the episode. On. What's the time stamp? Three oh seven. Yeah, we can end the episode on this. But I hate to admit it. Lil Mabu and they go fire, oh, bro. bro. That, that Lil Mabu <laughs> fire. So, been through the ops, get low. <laughs> that that nigga is fire, bro. I've been playing mathematical on repeat, bro. 3.14153. I'm the new king AOC. That nigga's going crazy, bro. I kept in my raps. I'm mean, this is tweet, bro. He's fire. They write it for I say it, they write it for me. That nigga is crazy, bro. Yeah. That he uh, actually be killing it. I can't. Uh, only thing that you took was uh, the plea. plea. Mama get money. money. Wally P. Shout out my uh, label. That's me. That nigga was actually going crazy, bro. He reminded me of 6 of my, 9 crazy. Nah. I don't like get taking Whoa. a fee. Yeah, no, he goes crazy. I, I, I think Mabu's. I, I like Mabu. Nah, he's, yeah, he's basically six nine. He don't remind you of six nine. I, oh, I shit. think I get where you guys are coming from, but what is happening? It didn't here? remind me of of six nine until y'all said it. I wouldn't have really thought of that. He's but, literally some white kid pretending to be hood, make it hard. Yeah, but music. I think that's a lot of people now. So like, well, the, not out of the Bronx scene. He like, literally took the whole six nine algorithm. And, and did it. Yeah. yeah. Just, he reapplied it. He just reapplied it. And I do think it's like working. Like say, do, say what, what, what's his song? Uh, not not yeah, go ahead. Sing some of it. Uh, keep a teddy bear while I sleep. Uh, capping my reps on the innocent tweet. Uh, dang. Keep a teddy bear for when I sleep. I forgot the rest. Jesus. Uh, but, uh, get money. Oh, P, shout out to my label. That's the same shit. Niggas iffy, uh, Blinky got the stiffy, uh, drop me. It's the same bit. shit. Yeah, I, it's really the same it. shit. I can see it now. I didn't really Scum think about it. Scum Yeah. That nigga 6 9 he used to have some hits, right? Niggas hate 6 9 now. Hey, niggas I won't even, admit he used it. To have some but 6 9 has some hits. I saw yeah. niggas, uh, Gunna just posted his first song. Oh, yeah, but did you listen? Was it good? It was decent. Oh. It was actually valid. You don't care he snitched? I 100% care that he snitched, yeah. 
I couldn't. Uh, actually, some yeah, no, no, like, what, like on some, on some real shit because that nigga was like clowning on Six Nine and hella niggas that snitched, and then he actually snitched, and there was nothing like like you were actually doing crime. So why you listen to a song? Because niggas dropped. Well, what the fuck? So you I, don't care who snitched? No, the same way I listened to Six Nine shit with Six Nine. <laughs> what, and you cared fuck? when Six Nine snitched? Yes. I don't give a I, fuck. I, I care when he snitched. I, 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 I stopped caring because it was like all the information. They fucking your baby mama. They do it all. Like, how the fuck do you not snitch? Like, why would you not tell them these niggas? Like, I didn't do these crimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't give a fuck. Snitch. I, if your music hard, I want to listen. Yeah, I was about no, to I say, I just don't though. really care about no, that. I don't care when, about snitching when 90, at all. When 90% of your music is about, I would never tell. You niggas is hoes because y'all niggas would tell. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's music. When, when Real 90, said, I don't care if people capping this When 90% songs. of your music... Yeah, music. Yeah, right. yeah, but when 90% of your music is about how you wouldn't tell and niggas are, like, niggas are hoes for telling... And then you tell, it just kind of like ruins 80%. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, as but as long music, as it sounds yeah, good, yeah, it bro. Ruins, it just yeah. ruins it. I don't it. care what you say. Yeah. It's music, bro. I don't it just fuck. ruins it. It's not, that's not you, bro. That's your alter ego. Like, ima- imagine if, um, imagine if Drake never got any coochie, like ever. I, and that, it sounded that would great ruin, him rapping no, 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 about no, no, coochie. That, I don't that care. would ruin, like, if you found out that this nigga, like, was whole time virgin, never, it would kind of be like, bro, this if he popped out today and said stories, that shit, I would wow. not care. I don't it think. Is, wow. Actually, I'll take it a step further. That would make him the that greatest be, yeah, that, song that fire, the bro. Greatest that would make him the greatest <laughs> ever. I was thinking, like, actually, I have dude, the real you're the goat yeah. now. I have the real. <laughs> if, if Nav was not actually getting money, it would make his songs terrible. Disagree. No, I'd be totally it make his songs disagree. terrible. Yeah, if the nigga's talking about like if he never popped a pill, never did any, and he was just he was totally fine. He was just talking for it, it would kind of ruin it. Nah, if totally this nigga was not guy. getting no money and he, he wasn't, to pop a if pill. he didn't actually love his mama, I, nigga, I don't care. I don't care. His song sounds he could cool. be lying yeah, right now. Hit my mom, but like, why you crying, mama? Is definitely like, hey, I had to do that. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like, yeah, that's kind of whack. You want to fuck with your mom? That's kind of whack. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's where I'm going. Like, nah. it's just, it's just going to be like, the, this makes this a little bit more It wouldn't change whack. the music for me, nah. I think it changes, it, it only changes the music for me because of like, I don't know. I just don't like when niggas are like, fall, like, talk about some shit you actually like. Like, if you don't actually like your mom, don't drop, don't drop a it song about good. how you like, like, if, if I found out that that nigga with a terrible haircut who was like, mama, don't worry. And he mm-hmm. never had his, he never had a mom. He never had any of that. Cared. It sounds good. I'll yeah. be like, damn, like, like, the, it, but was it still sounded good. good. Yeah, it was still a good song, but like, damn, that kind of like, I mean, you know he look, has a mom? Yeah. Uh, you do? Yes. The nigga posted his mom, like, right after that. Like, go oh, to his page. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, if we keep it in a stack, <laughs> like, though, right? And the song what the fuck we doing? Fine, so but if we matter. keep it in a stack, Thanos never came to Earth, but that shit was raw as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah, give a damn. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. That but shit that, was cool. That's that's Cool is cool. Yeah, that's yeah. completely around the story. I don't know. It's something about music. Like, if niggas were talking about, like, I don't know. It, it would just ruin a song for me if I found out, like, the actual person is, like, like is not about what they're saying. I tell you right now, Taylor Swift could have got back together with that nigga, no, and no, that song was that, still hit. That yeah. song still hit, but that that's completely that song is about emotions of actually getting broken up with. Like she actually had a breakup around this, so like whatever yeah. she's feeling, and she she's never had the breakup. I mean, yeah, if Taylor Swift has never had a relationship, know, every it, song it would, still le- hit. It would lessen. The music for me, like if nah. if Kanye West was it was from like fucking Naperville and he was talking about Chicago all the time, it would lessen the music for me. Like I, I would I would be like, oh shit. shit! Like if he's talking about yeah, the, the Chicago streets love me and all of that shit, and niggas in Chicago don't know you, that it, the shit's gonna hit different. Like that's that's just how it is. If niggas are fraudulently like nah doing their shit, chance I mean, could be an atheist. I think you can lie about. It. Nah, that would make his music hit a lot less. Kirk, Kirk Franklin could be an atheist. That, that would make his, hit. That would make his shit hit a lot less. Nah, that shit still going to hit. Was, if nah, your faith was not, not real. That shit still going to nah. hit. Yeah, like, Anything if else I'm down for is not real. If a gospel, like, if you're going crazy, you're like, I don't even believe in God. I'll be like, what? Like, I definitely. But the song don't sound good no more? The song, it might not. Honestly, <laughs> if I heard it a second time, I'll be like, what is he talking about? You sing it. What you some, mean? It, it's just some feeling yeah, around. You sing it. That might be shit. the only nah. thing. If, if a nigga like write all of his songs, I'm the hardest rapper of all time. And then a nigga just come out. Uh, 
I don't really fuck with rap. I'm like, what you do? This if you for? don't fuck with no, rap like, and your raps are fire, that's fine. No, no, no. Gospel that's, is the only thing that might fine. affect me. I'll be but like, if you're not doing? like, if you don't actually like rock with any of the shit you're saying, I'm not. I, I don't really rock with this thing How either. About me? If it sounds fine, I'm with it. No, if, hit it, if hit. it sound fire, I'll listen. But like, I don't think I. I think the music gets a knock for me. Like, I think, I think it's harder to drop music as like. It feels more like a product to me after you tell me that it's not like it actually. Is a product. Yeah, yeah, it's not a product like initially. It's I art. It's art initially, and then like once you start telling me that like, oh no, I built this as a product. It it just loses yeah, its value. You, I built art it too. is just something that I just made. Like this shit yeah. look cool. No, art it, is something that yeah. look cool. Yeah, but when you're telling me this you didn't cool. do it for Muse, but you did it for money, it it kind of it like might not have been for money. Ball. It's just because the shit is no. Good. Like, if I make I a mean, masterpiece, but like did it for money, then it's like no, it, it still look amazing. It's it, just this it, shit it, looks cool, bro. It still looks amazing. But if you tell me that yeah, I made this because like just for the money, like that, I don't think that's I fine. Be. If that I, nigga I'm Pablo, saying, but I'm saying like po- like Starry Night. Also has a, has a different meaning and a different level of worth due to like who it's the madness it's coming from. But if Pablo like that, Picasso that's today just a was whole like different thing, if Pablo Picasso popped out his grave and was like, "Hey, I never went through depression during the blue period. I just thought blue looked cool." I'd be like, "Oh shit, Maybe yeah, it's still cool." Then. Yeah, but it, I still think for a lot of people, it would the art would lose a lot of its meaning if, it, still if I just told you behind shit, it. Oh, to some extent, no, that like, might be cooler. I'm, like if, if yeah, it was just like, hey, like if somebody was like. I don't know. It just looked lit. I'd be like, bro, you had no inspiration. You yeah. you just was like, these colors look fire and made a masterpiece. Yeah, niggas just no, said, no, no, shit rhyme, bro. That's, yeah, that's I'm like, fine. That's perfectly fine. But like when you, when it's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just rapping to get this money, man. I do like. But why at, can't it just be this shit sound point, good? I'm be like, oh yeah, cool. Like I like I these two words together. No, no, no. I'm be like, oh yeah, cool. But like that shit's not. Money, that shit's just care. not. It's not gonna end up like this is the greatest piece of art I've ever. Look, I I just think art also like takes a little bit of like where it's coming from versus like money. Like like money is never gonna have like. Oh, the same position as like a nigga making art. Like Kanye West in his basement definitely had some beats that like probably slapped harder than the shit he put out. But like the shit didn't fit with like how his how he felt about his art. Yeah, but like, Ariana Grande don't write different. her songs. Them bitches still hit. Yeah. That, Beyonce uh, don't write her yeah, songs. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's just because she's a singer. Like, a, a, a singer, she's just good at... The, like, if her voice was auto-generated now, you you would you would 100% give a fuck. You would be like, oh, she's not actually singing the shit? Oh, if then I'm I don't... I'll tell you right I now. Don't wait, wait, wait. I would. Hold on, hold on. You ain't heard the AI passion fruit. Passion fruit. Ariana Grande singing Passion Fruit AI? That shit hard. Yeah, shit sound 40 yeah, times better than Drake. Yeah, that shit can sound That shit hit, great. nigga. I don't... Uh, I like it better same, than Drake's. The same way, the art the art just don't hit the same. It just don't hit the same. That's, it's the same thing as, like, I could go read the manga. The, the, the live action version of this is going to hit better. Like, that, that's just what it is to me. Like, I, I'm always gonna think... If someone's actually from the trenches rapping about the trenches, that nigga's music is just going to be better than a nigga rapping about the trenches like from his dreams. Like that, that's just what it is. Like there's a uh, reason a why NBA the- young boy has like has the following he has. And it's just niggas like, yo, this nigga's a But do it sound good? Speaking. Yeah, some of it. No. Nah. So to be honest, okay, NBA on. young boy. Yeah, that's the only one I know. Oh, no, okay. Then. Gun to the back of your did, head. Gun to the back of your head. Name five NBA young boy songs. Uh, okay. We could start off. We could start off. Uh, what's the we could vet motors? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. You could say any words right now, and I would have <laughs> no, to say the, okay. What's the point of doing this? Uh, I would have to just be like, yeah, <laughs> dirty sprite. Like, like no, we we like, could really no, go, yeah, like you could really say anything. Amazon yeah. Prime, and I would be like Cadillac right. catching. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I, there's nothing I can say to you. Big stick. Yeah. Like, I could just start doing, but yeah, I'm just saying, like, gun to the back of my head, I could probably name five NBA young boy songs, I but can. like, the, I'm not, uh, it, it's gonna take a while, but like, shit, nigga, like, I could get five. Well, then you're gonna die. Huh? Then you're gonna die. What do you mean? Niggas, Niggas ain't gonna wait all day. Yeah, I was about to say, when they say five, they didn't, that'll mean forever say, until yeah. you say five. They, they, would, once a nigga give up, nigga, like, I'm going to... I would actually five, have to give up. Five, I don't think five I know is going to come out. Yeah, but if I told you name a random nigga, like, 
that that you kind of like. Like I don't fiend for NBA young boys music, but I'll li- like if the nigga drops. Fuck it. Like I don't I'm think not, I've ever actually like listen. listened to a whole NBA young boy. I listen so. to Richest Op. Like I no, listen, I, I listen to that, but I only listen to that because niggas was saying it was the most fire shit to ever come out ever, and that's. I feel like there was one. That, NBA but that's young just boy like what okay, niggas say about right. NBA young boy anytime he drops. Down to the back of your head, name five OK YK Osiris songs. Uh, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there like a worth that's it part it. two? <laughs> To the back of your head, worth it remix. Worth it remix. Yeah. Uh, worth uh, the prequel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Gun to the back of your head. Name five non shonen anime. Non shonen. Shonen is like action. Young yeah. boy. So I could say like Haikyuu. Is that a shonen? Yes. Oh. Uh, Sailor Moon. That's one. Yep. Uh, what's that one? Kill the kill. I haven't seen it. It starts a girl. So yeah, the main character's uh, a girl. Okay, sure. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh oh, I had one in my head too. I just lost it. What is it? Tomo Chan's a girl. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's is that the main is Tomo Chan the main character though? I feel like the main character might actually be a dude. Yeah, but it's not a show that's a romance. Oh. Yeah. Oh romantic okay. comedy. True. Uh uh My Dress Up Darling. Yeah. And uh uh it gotta be shows or movies count too. I was thinking a, a silent voice. I had a movie, right? Okay, a silent, a silent voice. Boy. Uh, Killer Kill is good. a shonen. Would, would that Killer not Kill be a shonen? shonen? Would, would Killer Kill? Yeah, it's a shonen. Was, Who's the main character? The, I thought the main character was a girl. Even if the main character is a girl, it could still be a show. It's who uh, it's marketed to. It's marketed to. Oh, oh who it's marketed I, I, to. I always thought it was like who it was starring. No. I you can have a shonen with a uh, main pro. Well, with then, a uh, girl. Oh, she know Ko isn't a shonen then, is it? I haven't seen it. Oh, so I don't think I, it's I, a show. I can look it so up. So then I would go with Sakura So. Um, no, nah, Darling in the Franks is probably like. Uh, I'm almost positive that's the show. Yeah, because yeah, like, she's not the main character. I think the, a dude is. Yeah, but like. And it's, it's an a action romance. anime. Oh, it's a romance? Yeah. They, oh, they, I, thought they it was like, I thought that was like a mech anime. <laughs> I've never it actually. Is. Oh. Hold on. You yeah. said Darling in the Franks? Yeah. Let's see. It has a it has Max romance and I know I'm just seeing if it's shown in. Uh, I said I don't know if it's shown in. I said it probably counts because it definitely stars a like guy, but like, uh, let's see, it doesn't say. It's published by Shonen Jump though, which means it's most likely a Shonen. Then we, yeah, it's just, we could keep on going down the list. So Sakura So. Uh, if we're counting movies, I could do a perfect blue and just start going down. Like, there's, yeah, there's I mean, it's kind of easy to name five like, not yeah. shown in movies. You yeah. can just go all the Studio Ghibli films. And yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah, true. But all right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. We are gonna catch y'all in the next one. Uh, this is a pretty fun episode. Uh, check out the Patreon. We got some new stuff over there. Check out the Discord. We vibing over there. Come to all the Twitch streams. We always having a blast there. New shit coming out on Monday, and we will catch y'all later. Or you did you guys understand? Yeah, that? I'm sorry about removing all y'all permissions. I gave them back. Yeah, why did you do that? What happened? You didn't see, bro. There was a nigga spamming OnlyFans content. But throughout. why? You, but why'd you take everybody? That way, nobody could post links. It was the everybody like, so nobody could post links. Oh, but when it took out embedded links, niggas couldn't see shit. Yeah, they said they couldn't see nothing. Okay, so I I fixed everything. I just got to figure out how to set it so like. Random niggas can't just join and like post links. Oh, uh, I yeah, we guess. can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can figure I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, but I'm sure we got that. We got that in the works. Make sure you join the Discord because we be in there laughing, talking to people. So I do be lit. But all right, we we'll catch y'all later. Love y'all. We out. Peace.